Good morning, everybody. We're told to be Marion Township Board of Supervisors meeting for Saturday, the 20, 21st, there, right? My first, my second. Second. 22nd. Thank you. Uh, 22nd of October. Time is now 9.07 a.m. Uh, first item on the agenda is the Pledge of Allegiance. If everyone would please rise. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Okay. For anyone interested, there are masks and hand sanitizer in front of the room. The meeting, as always, is recorded audio and video. Uh, we ask that you please silence your cell phones. I'm, I'm actually going to do the same. Uh, that way we do not disturb the flow of the meeting. Is there anyone on Zoom? Um, when I checked just a minute ago, nobody was on Zoom. Give me just a second. No, no, it's, no nobody's no, on Zoom. Okay. okay. This time, anybody wishing to address the board can do so by coming up to the microphone. Uh, please be sure to clearly state your name and address and to sign in on the sign-in sheet. Okay. Seeing no public comments, we'll move into the items for discussion. Uh, the first is the Act 537. Our SEO is actively doing the inspections. Um, I didn't get a chance to look at his most recent report that he had sent in, but it seems like everything's kind of There's chugging two. along. Yeah. Um, I'll check that before the Thursday meeting, but uh, he is still actively doing that. Um, Wilmersdorf Sewer Authority met on October 19th and discussed our, our overall issues. Uh, they will be doing an EDU assessment and letting us know how much capacity they have available for us. Uh, Joe and Kimberly, who are here today from Hyde Terror, are presenting this, uh, this morning. Um, local share account grant was submitted on September 30th. Uh, we are not eligible at this time for the COVID-19 ARPA PA Small Water and Sewer Grant. Um, and Joe would like to discuss uh, some of the other public sewer system concepts. So, uh, Joe, I don't know if you want to pull a, yeah, a chair up rather than standing or... Looks like you've got to, you know, the agenda this morning. Thank you for coming up. Uh, just to uh, reiterate, we're going to update and, you know, things seem to be moving uh, at Wilma's door there. We... Uh, had some discussions with your attorney and, and uh, John Muir, the, the sewer authority's attorney. There is a meeting scheduled next week to talk about um, that agreement and modifications that can be made. Uh, Kevin Conrad from uh, Spot Stevens and McCoy is, is to attend, and Kevin would be responsible for be doing the U EDU assessment on uh, um, Wilma's story. So that's uh, the receiving end on the collection end. Uh, we did take a look at, at the design concept that was provided in the 537 plan and some of those uh, that, was, that were provided in a, in a preliminary plan prepared by Light and Heigl. Um, we feel like it was a pretty decent concept. Uh, but we do feel that there could be some improvements, uh, maybe with a number of crossings on 422 and a uh, different location for a pump station. So at any rate, um, one thing that we did find concerning is the number of parcels that were calculated between the Life Hygo report, uh, the McCarthy report, and then just our evaluation of parcels. So there is a slight discrepancy there in parcel numbers. Uh, we're more concerned with the EDUs. So, um, is everybody familiar with the term EDU and how it can change? So, an EDU is an equivalent dwelling unit, and DEP says, you know, uh, generally the way that's calculated is if you were all connected into a public sewer system and it went to point X, uh, how many gallons per unit would be coming out and the unit would be described more or less as a single family home. So the concept's there, but it's kind of twisted around because now there's EDUs for apartments and there's EDUs for single family homes and carriage homes and all that stuff. At any rate, our concern was that maybe there is not enough EDUs calculated uh, for each parcel. So we would be concerned with the, uh, basically along the highway center, uh, what development could occur there that might be 
a higher demand. You know, you could have parlors or doggy daycares, uh, you know, any number of things that, that require quite a bit of water. Mm -hmm. um, and then the town center uh, it seems to be restricted if you only come in with sewer, mm -hmm. right? But the zoning would suggest that you come in with sewer and then some future time down the road, water came in. The amount of EDU that would, could be consumed by the village would drastically increase. So, uh, you know, we, we think that we should really evaluate that concept a little bit. And the reason why that's important, well, it's, it's important for a number of reasons, but we discussed, you know, possibly sewering the whole area with low pressure to, to reduce the cost. That, that's a great concept. However, it does not give you the expandability that a gravity sewer does. So if we were doing, let's say, 180 units in the village area, and I'm, getting, I'm sure that's not an accurate count, but don't hold me to that number. So a number of units in the village area, and then each one of those maybe was turned into an apartment or something. Now you would be doubling the flow. Yeah. Not without water going in, zoning yeah. and support. Yeah. I mean, so you could potentially double the flow there and then small diameter pipe, I mean, these pipes are going to be inch, inch and a half, are size based on you know, a certain number of EDUs, you can't like double that. Where when you have an eight inch gravity sewer, you now you have capacity where you can collect as much growth as possible. So we feel that it would, it's, worthwhile to take some time and do a, an accurate EDU count on the village uh, and give you guys a table of here's what our count is, here's what a count would look like if indeed you went to water, um, so that we can make sure that Walmart's work is holding enough capacity for some eventuality uh, in the day. Yeah, I, I think that's prudent. I'd almost want to see current or current proposal plus worst case scenario and then try and find a number that's obviously within global uh, capacity range to do but try to give ourselves some wiggle room because i'm sure you're right there's going to be some changes somebody might open a business in the town center or something that consumes more water or there might be some development along 422 where we don't want to lock ourselves into we've built to 100 percent of what our current use is and we have nothing yeah. above and beyond that and sewer is a great way to take care of the environmental issues. And I mean, I understand the concern because I remember the township and sewer came and so does development. Yeah. It's a sad fact, depending on where you sit, but sometimes it's an excessive as well. And I'm not here to talk yeah. about that. Yeah. I'm just saying, you know. So do we need to forward any correspondence to DEP? To let them know where we're at and what we're doing. I would say it would probably not be a bad idea. Yeah. It's a very good yeah. thought to maybe proactively send a letter. Like if you could just give us a status update as the board saying, this is what we're looking at. This is yeah. what we want to do. I think it would help to illustrate to the DEP that we are actively, actively doing stuff. stuff. We are yeah, taking steps. True. We're not just sitting on our hands. So so the DEP approval letter basically said this area. Mm -hmm. I don't believe that there's any mention of this many EDU, Correct. this many parts. Correct. Right? So it gives you some wiggle room there. And I'm not suggesting that we design this thing for the end of the three. What right. you're always saying is let's look at what makes sense. And then we can always throttle back on the gravity sewer system. Uh, sorry, if we back up. I did suggest that we take a look at what it might cost for a low pressure system. Yeah. So we've been pulling the plans together to try and get enough information so that somebody can give us a pretty accurate number on that. Yeah. So we'd like to also continue with that just so we have that as a comparative yeah. figure. Yeah, and with, with the low pressure, is that something that you could potentially upsize slightly or is that pretty rigid? Yeah, well, so we're, we're talking to the manufacturer about that. There are, depending on how it's laid out, you might have to, you could put like a parallel line in. So the biggest cost is either drilling the, the pipe mm -hmm. or opening the road and dropping one pipe. Yeah. If you're putting two in, you know, you're already tearing up that street, especially yeah. with a low diameter pipe, small diameter pipe, you can get 
uh, and it, let's say a two inch line in and maybe put a four inch next to it. Mm -hmm. So that if something were to happen, now you have a little bit reduced friction and the, the demand on those each and individual grinder pumps is so high. Okay. Yeah, I think like as we go down that avenue, I like the prospect of that. Yes, there's pumps that individual people have to have, but the the ongoing cost of operation and maintenance is substantially less on that from, from my understanding anyway than doing the traditional like gravity grip sewer. Like it, it's less to buy a pump as a homeowner and occasionally have to replace it every eight to 10 years than it would be the cost to the household of having to take the, the their slice of the project and divide it over like 20 years. Yeah, so the capital cost would likely be less for a low pressure than operational cost. It's going to be a little bit higher. It's going to be a little bit higher. Right? So they'll consume electricity as power goes out. Gravity mm -hmm. is always there. Mm -hmm. um, and, you know, there's a mechanical mm -hmm. device there. Because we need, we need all the numbers. Yeah. I mean, that's what yeah. the bottom line is. We need all the numbers. Yeah, yeah and then that's yeah. prudent to look at both yeah. potentials and understand that if we were to say, let's go with a gravity system, there's still low pressure pumps that would be located throughout because mm -hmm. it would be nearly impossible to sewer everything with just the gravity. Mm -hmm. And then, of course, there's a pumping station. The one of my thoughts actually driving in this morning was maybe we could take Shady Cabin from a low pressure system by itself all the way to the connection. Mm -hmm. It's really not that far. And then we could take the, the balance of the area and put that in the pump station and send it away. We're relying on your expertise. Yeah, so we, we want to see you know, what, what well, the experts. Well, there's a lot of different things, yeah. and honestly, I'm learning yeah. as they go. You know, the area and right. things are come to light, and yeah. I have to tell you that uh, the attorneys are doing a great job. It was so nice to see uh, John and Andy and the communication back and forth. So, yeah. I mean, after just a couple phone calls, you know, the ball's rolling. It, yeah. it's really positive. So, yeah, it's all good. Okay. We we're waiting for an update, and we're here, you know. So I guess it's just if you could give us a brief update of all your suggestions and findings, and this way we could continue to communicate with DEP and see what they'll allow us. I can't imagine that they're going to be so rigid and not saying don't do this. You could only yeah. do that based on the fact that we're working with a sanitation engineering firm. So. Yeah, not to mention yeah. if they had concerns, it'll give them a chance to voice it yeah. proactively rather than sending us another like angry letter. So. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Well, it might be beneficial if I were to reach out to whomever is holding the cards at it's these days. Be Tim Wagner. Tim Wagner and see, you know, what his concerns are and then if he suggests another letter. Okay. I, I mean, it, phone call i'm gonna to have to have a relationship with this guy one way or another right but, you know, mm -hmm. uh, as you go into permitting so it probably doesn't work just that sounds very, great yeah, mm -hmm. that's all right you guys. yeah that's yeah. perfectly fine by me yeah and then what we would do is i can give you a uh, sending uh, the correspondence mm -hmm. thank you mm -hmm. okay mm -hmm. uh so um you know more than willing to come to your saturday meetings it's a beautiful ride up here in the morning it's actually really nice because there's nobody quite out on the road on yeah. Saturday. Yeah. Um, but I want to communicate the best I can with you all. And, and we kind of established, you know, uh, a committee. Yeah. So your emails and every correspondence has been great. I'm yeah. I'm able to keep track of everything. I have folder, I have things up on the uh, bulletin board. So we're, you guys are great. Thank okay. you. Very clear cut, very easy to follow. All right. Any concerns, please call me up. We, you know, we're here to help and excited by the whole opportunity and really appreciative of everything. Mm -hmm. uh, seems like a great community. So we're we're happy to have your help. We really are. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Joe. Thank That's you so much. I'd Joe. like you guys, if you're the board's okay with it, yeah. I'd like you guys to meet our new engineers too, like in person. Uh, so you kind of. Uh, yeah. Um, like they won't probably ever come to a workshop meeting, but they'll come, they'll be at they'll be at a couple of Thursday night meetings. How about the first one? 
Um, he said he was going to show up this morning. He didn't. Um, maybe he'll show up Thursday. Okay. We've not gotten any plans for that yet. Yeah, no. nothing. Zero. Okay. Yeah. So once. So I mean, once he wanted finishes. to be put on the agenda, and I said, "Well, nothing's been submitted. There's nothing for the board to decide." Nothing. We have not gotten anything. Yeah. Yeah. That would be a good thing. Okay. Um, it's systems design, yeah. and then our person is Chuck S. Chuck S. And yeah, um, I can reach out to Chuck. Yeah, and then the other one is Mike War. He's doing our planning and our zoning. And I can give you. Did I give you their contact information? I'm more than calling all the other ones with Chuck. Okay. Okay, Mike. Okay, I'll make sure you get that, and then I'll try to maybe arrange something. Okay. So, can I plan on seeing y'all next month? Yes, sure. please. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. Thank you. Thanks. Okay. Next item on the agenda. Uh, actually, before I move on, I forgot Dan. Uh, does the Zoom track of the have anything to do with any of this? Because it's been so. All 170 acres has been purchased. Not to my knowledge. I, I think believe. there's only like one or two acres mm -hmm. in Marion Township, and it's like in the middle of a big like Yeah. Yeah. Will any yeah. of that fall into Wumble? Yeah. 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 Uh, yeah. No, it's in Mill Creek. No, it's in Mill Creek. No, as you say, the one side of it is in Mill Creek, and there's this tiny little slice that's in Marion, and it's not anywhere near oh, the sewer yeah. stuff. Okay. Yeah. yeah. It's closer it. it's closer to Newmanstown than it is to Wilmington. Yeah. Yeah, we know. We got an email about it. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, we'll we'll have to keep an eye on that, but yeah, well, I'm sure yeah. you're aware of this. Mm -hmm. Stone crop will be just kind of have some meetings <laughs> and yeah. you know, they're they're really up on top of that as far as what goes on being here. Yeah, so, can't blame them. Can't blame them. As well. Yeah, they're, they're going to no priest meeting and Ronald sort of meetings and really staying on top of all of it. Okay. okay. Thank you. Thank you, Dan. Next is the Dutch Valley Food Distributors, uh, LERTA or LERTA. Uh, we made a motion at last month's Board of Supervisors meeting to take the next step in the process and to authorize our solicitor to advertise the public hearing. Um, I didn't see any emails if Andy actually did that or not. Did he send anything your way, Sue? I assume he did, but... No, because okay. I would have followed it to you. Okay, guys. I'll make a note here to ask Andy. Um, everything anymore. No, 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 it's okay. Like I said, I'll just make a note here to ask him. I didn't see anything either, but no. no. Okay. Next is the stormwater waiver request for 42 Loganberry Court. This property is in the Stonecroft Village. The property owner would like to install an in-ground fiberglass pool and extend her patio area. The total impervious area would be approximately 660 square feet. On October 18th, after a lengthy discussion, the Planning Commission recommended that the Board of Supervisors grant the waiver with some conditions. Uh, we have here the um, the motion that the planning commission made. Uh, I'll read it out. It's the planning commission recommends that the grant that the grant the waiver conditioned upon mm -hmm. section Sorry. 402. It's okay. Exemptions to allow for increase in the exemption criteria up to the indicated 3,315 square foot of total impervious coverage on this lot, subject to providing manufacturer information regarding the pavers that substantiates that they are indeed pervious, allowing water to go through them. Uh, providing information regarding the material that will be installed in the gaps between the pavers and the quantifying size of the stone bed that will receive the overflow from the pool, including an indication of the stone itself and the material of the stone. That proper erosion and sediment control measures be installed on a temporary basis during the construction period. So it's a little bit, there's a lot there to take in, but yeah. the, the long and short of it is they recommend that we approve the waiver condition upon meeting the the criteria for it being successfully installed. Long and short of it, they want to know 
what the material is, how right. much of it, and how it's going to be retained during construction. So, so I have I, no I, objection I, to that. Right. I, but yeah. Yeah. Um, that's what we need. This was it. Yeah, this, was it. This, yeah. Yeah. this was it. He was at the uh, planning commission meeting. Yeah. Oh, so that's yeah. Puck's opinion. Yes. Okay. So I would, I would prefer that you wait until we'll Thursday wait until night. Thursday. Yeah. 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 Chuck will be here. Yeah. He can explain sure. it better. Okay. Yeah. So that's from oh. Chuck. On, on its surface, though, I don't have any problems with yeah. that. That seems pretty cut yeah. dry. Okay. I mean, they they discussed this for a good fifty minutes, which is a long time for our planning commission. So I mean, they were you know hashing things out and trying to get everything proper yeah well the, the, the most concern is running to other, other properties rather yeah. than yeah. but the salinity yeah. of it they and like they said in a rainstorm the salinity of it's it so the salinity of it in the to begin with is not going to be that concentrated to kill trees or grass but in a in a rainstorm, it's even less saline. So uh, the the concern was more of it running to either side property, yeah, and getting in yards and basements or whatever. You yeah. Know, so and my understanding of that is when you have something like this, especially if you're on a pitch, they'll basically have you dig like a dry well. That's a just a, a basin that's filled with stone, so it's allowed to pool and infiltrate mm -hmm. out rather than running. So and that's that's what this is. Yeah. That's what this is. Yeah. So that's that's it's being well considered. So I have no objection to the Yeah. She said it was going in at weather was twenty hats off to her. Yeah. <laughs> uh she wanna trade houses. I hate my well, the grandkids love it. But yeah. They don't. They don't maintain it. Yeah. They don't clean it. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Next up on the agenda is the CWP-LD. This is for 37 Main Street, the self-storage units. Um, they've requested a 90-day time extension from November 15th to address the deficiency stated in the McCarthy Engineering Review Letter dated August 11th. They will still need the improvement agreement, the financial surety letter of credit, and the NPDES permit. On October 18th, the Planning Commission reviewed the 90-day extension and requested, uh, and request, excuse me, and recommended that the board grant the request. So I'd say we'll just do that Thursday night too. Can like their their thinking is, um, it, it could be pushing it to mm -hmm. until they get all this stuff in. So yeah, so just ask for the extension. Yeah, and it again, it. on the surface, I don't have any problems with it, but that yeah. might be a good one to to chit chat with the engineer yeah. about. Okay. Next is to set the dates for the 2023 reorganizational meetings. Uh, this is for the Board of Supervisors, Tuesday, January 23rd, and elected auditors, Wednesday, January 24th, or excuse me, January 4th, 2023, and advertise both meetings. Uh, January 1st is on a Sunday, but the holiday is observed on Monday this year. Okay, so I'll, I'll make a motion to set the date for the 2023 supervisor reorganizational meeting to be January 3rd, 2023 at 7 p.m. in the township building. Second. Are you going to do motion separate? I was going to do, yeah. do it oh. separate. Okay, sorry. All right, roll call, Peter. Aye. Irene. Aye. Jim. Aye. <clears throat> okay. Make a motion to set the date for the 2023 elected auditors reorganization meeting for Wednesday, January 4th, 2023 in Marion Township building at 7 p.m. Second. Roll call, Peter. Aye. Irene. Aye. Jim. Aye. Okay, and then the final motion, I would like to <clears throat> authorize the advertising of the reorganizational meetings for January 3rd and January 4th. Second. Roll call, Peter. Aye. Irene. Aye. Jim. Aye. Okay. Okay, the next is the cleaning service. Our cleaning lady resigned because of health issues. Uh, we have gotten a proposal from Above and Beyond Housekeeping, Emirate Cleaning Service, and Beverly Brossman. Um, I have not seen the Beverly Brossman quote yet. It's, I'm, assuming, I'm sure Wait, it's in I the packet. The they did? Um, the okay. I have, yeah. not, I have not looked it over yet. It's in the packet, too. Okay, okay. Well, I'm getting there. I'm scrolling. Okay. Um, 
He's basically matching that other price. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Yeah. I'd like to hire Emmerich. Okay. I mean, my only stipulation is quality and price. And if everybody's in roughly the same area, if you have a preference towards Emmerich, I'm fine with Emmerich. Emmerich. I'll have to double check. I, if I could say, uh, pending that information, I would say yes. I know they clean Walmart's door. Uh, they do uh, the library. It's, it's a cleaning service. So yeah. They can assume they are. Yeah. yeah. I, 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 I didn't did know guess. if L&B was. So. She was. She was. She always, every year we got a certificate of insurance. Review. Let me, uh, I'll find that out in just a few minutes. All right, I'll get an answer hopefully by the end it's, of the meeting. It's the like other people that were here at the meeting. I think they're just chit chatting in the hallway. No, it's Harold. Yeah. He cornered Joe and Kimberly. That's okay. I assumed that, but wasn't going to say that. <laughs> okay. I'll say it. Okay. So I'll get, I'll get uh, that information. Can we move that for a yeah. later? Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah that's fine. That. So we'll uh, we'll table yeah. that for now. And pending yeah. uh, confirmation of the like insurance, we'll, we'll make a motion hopefully yeah. Thursday. Okay. The next item on the agenda is the... Creekview Dairy Operation on 952 Route 419. Uh, according to their improvement and maintenance agreement dated 22317, they were to complete all stormwater and other improvements within 18 months. Uh, their letter of credit is being held and auto increasing yearly. The excavator has been in contact with Chuck at SEE, who is trying to schedule an on site meeting with the property owner, excavator, one supervisor, and Dean Druckenmiller from BCCD to resolve the issue. Um, so their excavator tried calling me a couple times when I was at work and I couldn't answer. So I'll have to try calling them back. Um, but really the long and short of it is they either need to do what's in the plan or they need to file an amendment to the plan. There's really no, no middle ground. Even if Dean goes out, we go out, the engineer goes out and everybody says, yep, this should be different. You still have to file the amended plan. So we'll, uh, we'll hopefully get that closed, but, um, one way or the other, they have to do that. They have to do something. The ball's in there for it. So, um, do either of you have any questions on that one? That one's again pretty, no. pretty open and shut. Uh, next is the road projects for 2022, including the culverts. Uh, the crosswalk uh, crosswalk painting is complete. Um, we're not sure when Monarch Manufacturing will begin making the four culverts. Uh, we will need to rent a crane, but uh, Ryan Allgaier is looking into that for us and getting getting some figures. Um, once we know when the first culvert is going to be delivered, we can start coordinating, getting the site prepped and ready and getting the crane rented for dropping the pieces in. Um, obvious goal here is to mess around with that as little as possible. Pieces show up, we drop pieces in, done. So. I just have a, like a one more mm -hmm. comment, I guess, sure. a question on that. Yeah. So, I mean, I'm in the office with Sue a lot and, and we get the phone calls and whatnot. This is something that may be beyond the scope of what our road crew can do because we don't have that many guys. Yeah. So just to keep it on everyone's minds, we may have to hire people to do these jobs. So Ryan did yeah. tell me that yeah. when the pieces are delivered and the crane drops them in, he will be need at least four, five, six guys there. Yeah. To help. Yeah. Um, well, I I can be there. We've got Butch. Um. Dave's on the fence. Sometimes he say. says yes, sometimes he says no. Yeah. Um, and it's, it's their avail availability. Yeah. But, you know, this no. may be beyond the scope of what. And Ryan did all, also say that he would be willing to have his guys help, but then we wouldn't pay them. We have to put them on the road for yeah. temporarily. And that's. And that's well, <clears throat> excuse me. Uh, these guys are on the road that's what they do for a living so yeah. yeah i mean if they're willing to do that I, I don't have any problems with putting them on the road group for a little bit i mean if any of them want to stick around and, and help us do stuff that's even better but um yeah we just have to kind of 
I guess we'll wait till we get to that point. Kind yeah, of. I think this we, point, we don't know. Yeah, you know when this is gonna. Right. Happen. So, do, I, they, I, if do we, they need to go on the road? Crew right. That's can't Ryan just from a, from a liability standpoint. Yeah, so we don't have workman's comp and, uh, if, insurance. If on we're it. paying, yeah, them, but can't Ryan just send us a bill through his own business? We'd have to. Mm -hmm. Uh, then you have that, to bid it out. Yeah, yeah. So depending on what it, if we're, if we're not doing it ourselves, then we get into other areas of like the bidding and things yeah. like that. Mm -hmm. um, it would honestly be the easiest, most direct thing to just add them to the road crew for a bit. Mm -hmm. Kind of like what we do with the farmers when they do the snow plowing. Mm -hmm. um, okay. That we we technically add them to the road crew so that they have like the um, workman's comp and stuff and liability if something were to happen. Okay. Okay. The uh, the crosswalks. Just to go back to that for a oh. second, they're in. I know you were expecting. Oh, that's, that's agenda item. Oh. Uh, okay. oh, didn't I put that on? Oh, I have that there. Sorry. Yeah, that's, that's, that's sorry. Right. No, it's okay. Sorry. Um, that's more or less what I was expecting from crosswalks. But if we want something different, we can always paint or just wait until next year and have them paint like hashed lines in them or something. Yeah. Yeah. Um, it's really whatever we I, want to do. I'm like, where's these crosswalks? And then when I drove through Robinson, I'm like, okay. Yeah. You know, yeah, that's you know? that's traditionally yeah. what I I know what crosswalk has is just the, the being striped. I love Jim's idea with the the three D painted. That ones. was amazing. Yeah, I'll make everyone stop in their tracks. <laughs> yeah, but we don't then, need stop signs. I know. Get that on the road. Yeah. Um, I mean, uh, the only thing that I would question is we got to see if like ten dot like legal. <laughs> Oh no no stuff. you know no yeah because they that. might frown yeah. upon the 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 very nice three D yeah. art but we can we can yeah. also make changes to the crosswalks but the yeah. nice thing is that they're in there now and they they are noticeable like when you drive down Main Street you can see them from a pretty fair distance away yeah um the bollards have not come in yet but I'll as soon as they come in I'll just swing up and, and drop them in the intersections there um what they gonna... the little pedestrian signs oh. that we're gonna get three. For Main Street, and we will put regular crosses. signage along the roads. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I have to get the regular signage still. I haven't ordered that with MSI, but it will just be like crosswalk ahead. Yep. But you don't need an ordinance to put that kind of sign up, do you? No, that's um, it's the same thing with the like no parking here to corner. So it, it's, it's technically like already or... in um motor vehicle. Yeah, it's in the motor vehicle okay. code already, um, and then you're just actually enforcing. Uh, you're you're giving notification about something that's already in there. Um, the only time that you really have to do the ordinance stuff is if you're placing speed, like speed limit speed signs, uh, stop signs, mm -hmm. things that are enforceable. Yeah. Um, otherwise, it's really just kind of in, uh, for everybody's awareness kind of thing. Um, same thing with like I think reduced speed ahead. Like even though it's about speed limits, it falls into that same yeah. camp of like you're already just enforcing an existing mm -hmm. uh, or you're reinforcing an existing thing. Mm -hmm. One reason that you all the way to the or, uh, stop. Because we wanted to do all of Main Street in one go. Because it's Marion Township. It's, it's, so we painted Marion Township. Yeah. We started one end on Main Street, went to the other from Township Line to Township Line. It's one of the most. The stop light is wide in the property. Say again? That's not where the township stop. Well, if they painted past where the township line was, like, they. Uh, <laughs> it's okay. I mean, it's it's not the end of the world. It's it, if anything, it's a, a couple of feet of paint that we gave to our, our friendly neighbors in Wolmelsdorf. But um, the the goal here is to try to take as many straight unbroken roads as we can and just start painting them every year we do a couple of roads the next year we do a couple of roads that way by the time we finish the the round of like four or five groups of roads we go back to the beginning we make sure all the lines are nice so yeah now just now we know yep now we know now we just we'll make a, a note for next time to maybe well, stop a little uh, short <laughs> <laughs> I, I think they are the sign down the store where they do. Where? It's right where the tourists come, which none of you probably know where the tourists come used to be. Oh, yeah, I got nothing. Uh, <laughs> it could be the white building below Roy, two house two houses below Roy property. Okay. That was called the tourist club. And right on the side of there there was a sign that said is, is it still there? I think so. It's a big metal sign. 
I must just be like white noising that out. I don't I don't remember seeing that at all ever. And actually, yeah. I think there's one. Yeah. Yeah. Actually, I think there's one across on well, the turn box Mrs. Bobby's house. There's right there on the corner. No sign there. Chucky Zeckman is in Willowsworth Borough. Before you get to uh it, it's like two houses out. It's a wide sign. It's about this big. So, so think of it this way, Peter. Years yeah. ago, years and years and years ago, Penn Hill Park, across from Stonecroft, that development, was annexed off. That was mm. in Marion Township. That was annexed off. So That's anything right. on the north side of uh, William Penn Boulevard there is technically in Wilmershark Borough. Yeah. On the south so side it's, is it's us. Marion Township. Yeah. Yeah. I actually, I've always kind of wondered why there's that weird cut up thing. Okay. Yeah. Uh, okay, good to know. Yeah. Well, uh, um, Frank, I was talking to Frank Brown yesterday. He said, uh, I think it's through the bar probably down there in the line. No, it's not. No. I'll sh I'll take you down there one day and show you exactly okay. where the line is. Okay. Because okay? my in law's property is divided in half, catty corner. Catty corner. Okay. There's a triangle in Mary and there's a triangle in the borough. I'll show you where it is. Okay. All right. Can we move on? Yeah. This is, I was, you know, <laughs> we're good. We've we're good. Um, uh, there's plenty of things on the agenda, but yeah, that's that's the, the thinking on that. It's just one end of the township to the other, and that's how we're going to do roads. It's just here's a road, here's a road, here's a road. Okay, next, the extension of the stormwater pipe along Marion Drive and Main Street. I did talk to McCarthy Engineering about that oh, about a week and a half ago. They were going to get somebody out to do the, the survey for that. Uh, hopefully, we'll have something for Thursday. I'll check in with Jim during the week this week and make sure that we're, we're good there. Okay, it, can I just yeah, make yeah, yeah, yeah. comments on this note? Yeah. So yesterday, I had a conversation with Penn Strategies, which is a grant writing group. Okay. So if Chuck's going to take a look at this... Mm -hmm. If he thinks there's a bigger problem, okay, let us know, obviously, because okay. they work on all kinds of grant writing, and okay. they mentioned stormwater. So if we know that there's a project, and I'll, I'll get more into it a little bit later, so just the FYI, if Chuck takes a look and says, well, this is what the bigger problem is, absolutely let us know. Yeah. So I'm assuming he's not going to just say, We're, look at one inch of it, he's going to look at the whole thing and say... You know, yeah, just just for clarity, McCarthy Engineering is is still yep. like mostly helming this one, and they're going to yep. hand it off to him. Um, when I talked to Jim, I said this is probably a, a perfect opportunity to make a nice smooth transition from one project that you guys have started over to him. Um, that way, everybody's kind yeah. of all on the same page of how things are done. But yeah, if there's a, a, a situation with like sinkholes, or and it's not going to be quite as cut and dry as just putting in a little more pipe in a catch basin, then yep. yeah, we should absolutely look for grants. Yeah. Otherwise, it's a thing we can send Butch out with the backhoe and right. have him do. So depending on what they say, I just want you to keep oh, that in yeah, mind. Yeah, no, absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. I'll get more into my, that conversation later then. Okay. Uh, next item on the agenda is the Comcast franchise renewal. We have not gotten anything back from Cohen and Associates about negotiating the new contract. No emails? And I sent an email like two weeks nothing. ago. I'll follow up this week. Yeah. So uh, other than that, we're still waiting on the first draft of the new contract from Eric Wolden at Comcast, too. So and we haven't heard there. from either I, side. I sent him an email, too. So I sent both of them. Put in your email. Um, please respond to this email so I know you got it. Yeah. Okay. I, I, sometimes I do. I'm going to call. Just, I'm going to call. Know. Yeah, please respond so, to confirm receipt of yeah. the email. Um, you could actually maybe put a red receipt on it. That's one of the options in Outlook. Mm -hmm. But... Okay, uh, next item on the agenda is the proposed dog leash curbing ordinance. Uh, last month's meeting, we authorized our solicitor to advertise the ordinance. Um, I didn't see any emails about So this about... was to be advertised in the Ready Eagle on Tuesday, October 18th. Okay. I didn't look that day, so I, I don't I, know if it was, but... Yeah. I'll, I'll just, I'll add that to Ask Andy. I'm assuming it was. So I guess this is good to go then for Thursday? Uh, I can see. Eight days is it advertised. I don't know. Um, I thought the I thought ordinances had to be advertised for like twenty days. Ask Andy. Yeah, I'll ask Andy. <laughs> here, 60, here, sixty days. No, it's not sixty oh, days. Wait. 
ordinances to enforce general powers of the township. Would that be it? Yes. The entire text of the ordinance must be published at least once, not more than 60 days, nor less than seven days before passage. Uh, so, yeah. We're good then. Yeah, we're, we'll be fine. Because uh, it was pushed on the 18th. Yep. So we're good. Yeah, we'd be fine. We could we could potentially do that on, on Thursday night. Because it's, well, it's not 60 days. No, no, no. no. It cannot be less than yeah. seven or more oh, than oh, 60. Read that one. Yeah. No, no. It's, it's a weird one. I, I did the exact same thing the first time I read that. Um, Okay, so we'll we'll do that Thursday night then. Uh, next, yeah. Uh oh. Is it not turned on? Check the connections. Yeah, hold on. That it should be this way. Yeah. Is that a cook that one? Got. Power. Come on. Come on. Is there anything plugged in on the other side? Yeah. No. This is just, I think you just turned it off because the lights went on there. It was just like on the verge of going off, and then it did. How old is that? Um, old. old that's a chance. It's probably right here. Just looking at it, say about six, seven. It was here when I started. I'm here six years now. Yeah. Oh, we're still on. Okay. Yep. It we're probably recording. just went. It just went to sleep. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Okay. Scared me. <laughs> okay. Uh, next item is the Western Berks Joint Zoning Ordinance, Section 403. This is about the keeping of pets and small domesticated farm animals. This will allow more chickens, etc., on properties less than one acre. Uh, on October 18th, our planning commission reviewed this amendment and recommended that the Board of Supervisors proceed to the next step. Um, I think we authorized the next step to be taken at the last meeting. So we'll, well just... you authorized the next, you authorized it to go to our planning commission. Yeah. So if you want it to go forward, then you have to motion that. Okay. Well, uh, did, did planning, uh, planning commission uh, did review, right? Yeah, yeah. That's what this. Yep. Yep. Blurb is. Okay. <laughs> yeah. I'll, I'll motion to do, uh, continue in the process of the Western Berks Joint Zoning Ordinance Section 403 Amendment. Second. Roll call, Peter. Aye. Irene. Aye. Jim. Aye. Okay. Okay. Next item on the agenda is the Stormwater Management uh, Ordinance Amendment. This addresses the drainage plan requirements exemption. It exempts the small type projects and permits the drainage plan not to be required. At last month's meeting, we authorized our solicitor to advertise this ordinance. Uh, did we get a date on that one? Yeah. Sir? Okay, I'll, I'll add that to the, the Ask Andy pile. Advertise in the Ready Eagle on Tuesday, October 18th. Okay. Okay, cool. Okay. Next item is the developed strategic vision. Uh, based on the fact that we have a pretty full agenda and it's also the budget meeting today, I'd say let's skip that one. We'll come back to that. Next is the statewide tax recovery close and return uh, report for our per capita taxes. Uh, they have exhausted all efforts for these people and have not been able to get anything. Um, at the last meeting, we had kind of decided that if there were names that we recognized on there, that we would try sending a letter. Uh, otherwise, it's pretty much we have to write it down as... It's it's not going to be collectible, so uh, I don't know if anything got done with so that. I had I I got this response back. I, I emailed it to you. So we got I got I emailed statewide and said, "Why did you send this to us?" Carter? Yeah, mm -hmm. there was no cover letter, no explanation. Um, she says we wanted to communicate with you about an update for our placements in our system. We will be moving forward to close and return accounts older than seven years where there has not been a payment received within the last four years. So basically they're cleaning up their computer. Yeah. Given the time frame and after numerous attempts and efforts, we've exhausted our resources on these specific accounts. We feel it would be best to hand them back to you. We are doing this because we wanted to give you we wanted to give you the opportunity to proceed with these specific accounts as to do as you wish. By September, you may see a larger than normal close and return report due to these changes. Well, apparently, she said that she emailed this to me on to us on August first. I never got this. Okay. So she resent it just the other day, and 
So basically they're cleaning up their computer and okay. came up with this report. Okay. Yeah, I mean, there's really not much we can do. People don't pay, especially if the recovery agency that we hired to do this hasn't yeah. been able to get I anything. Mean, I don't them. know. Do we have to authorize them to like say that's okay? Or I don't know. Uh, well, I will ask Andy on, okay. on Thursday night, but I would imagine we basically just have to make a motion to accept yeah. that's yeah. because we already are under contract with them to take whatever actions necessary yeah. so yeah we basically yeah. just have to accept it as this is the facts okay yeah so. okay next is the building property renovations new building at last month's meeting uh irene had put together a slide deck yeah. around that uh, multiple areas of the building that are in severe disrepair um, i've not gotten a chance to make any calls to real estate places yet but mm -hmm. uh i think that's okay. not super critical. I've got some more information on that stuff okay. too coming down the pike. Okay. So I could do number 17 if you want. Yeah, please. Right. So please. EMC insurance loss control report. We had a representative from uh, EMC, Nick Padel. Uh, he did a walkthrough inside us for three things. One was damage to the building, which includes a second floor ceiling tile damage and water entering through the wall on the floor on the garage side of the building. So he recommended that we hire a qualified contractor to inspect and repair the damaged areas, um, which we can't get hold of any contractors to come in and repair the damaged areas. So uh, fire extinguishers were also not found in the building, which Sue and I are quite aware of. We can reach out to a local uh, fire extinguisher company to come and do that because then they inspect it and replace and, and okay. uh, do everything on an annual basis so I can take care of that. Um, he recommends that there's fire extinguishers appropriate for operational hazards should that, uh, when we obtain them. And then the other recommendation was because we have the fuel tanks located at the salt shed, they're unprotected from vehicle impact. He asked that we place something there and suggested something as simple as two cement followers to be placed in front of those fuel tanks. And he wants a response before, okay. uh, November 19th. So, okay. So, uh, Butch, would you be able to move a couple of the cement blocks? we have over there so that there's kind of a buffer i thought we had some out there still well up. they're being used to oh right okay right just can you get some new ones <laughs> or he also said you could just get a you know how you just get a tube and fill it with concrete and get to dig it down okay like the, he said either one is fine i mean yeah. the the tubes and the concrete are probably going to be cheaper if we just yeah. put you out to like a home depot or something yeah um but they Mm. Yeah. They have, they have there. yeah. 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 Okay. As long as it's clear, I don't care if you paint them bright orange, whatever fluorescent paint, to make sure it's visually obviously clear that yeah, that there's there. a barrier there. Yeah. yeah. So. so they need a response on their Okay, so I can do, respond to and them. I, yeah. And I put it yeah. as a motion, just, I don't know if you need yeah. a motion, but, and I think they just want to know that we're kind of working on this. Yeah, let's yeah. say the, um, the contractor one is going to be the hard one. The fire yeah. extinguishers yeah. yeah. are going right. to be easy. Well, the, here's the other part of it. When we had anyone walk through the building, not a single person addressed that brick wall, and that yeah. brick wall coming away from the building and, mm -hmm. and, and repairing that. It's not that that space would be used by us, mm -hmm. so I'm more than petrified to think of opening up that can of worms because i would assume that to repair that brick wall they're going to have to remove some of the brick wall to redo it to redo some of the structure because obviously building mm -hmm. code and the way we do things just has changed so much what since 1895 when this building was built i don't 1800 right. right so 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 i would be absolutely petrified that we're opening up a can of worms mm -hmm. or to repair yeah. On, on that side. So we need to find out what we can do to mitigate that rather than necessarily repair. Yeah. So it's a big I don't know. And maybe it's just a matter of asking someone to come and say, how do we mitigate these circumstances? Yeah. Yeah. How do we how do we keep the damage from worsening? What's right. the as much as I hate to say it, what's the band-aid? Right. We, we need to band-aid it rather than repair. Yeah. Yeah. Because we can't because that entire brick wall is unsteady. I think, like, once you start messing with it because it's, of the lack of the support over yeah. the garage, you start taking yeah. out the pieces. No, it's like a Jenga puzzle. There's an improper beam above the Right, yeah. Right. Let's say that was not properly supported, which is why it heaved. Right. 
And have so we, could we talk to any realtors about property yet? I haven't yet. I haven't made any calls. Right. Like I just didn't, right. didn't have a chance over but, the past but couple even of weeks. Still, like it's still we need to have a building design. I did when Chuck came in to pick up some information here. I said, Hey Chuck, your firm does building design. He said yes. And he told us about two different townships that are currently going through mm -hmm. building design. To add to that, when I spoke to Penn Strategies, um, they do grants again for buildings and uh, there was a lot of information that they threw at me. I'm, I'm waiting for an email from them. So, um, yeah, I guess it's yeah. part of the strategic planning, yeah. but I'm going to compile basically a folder. This is everything that we have to do. Here's all the plans. Here's all the information. And then it's a matter of when we can having everything done that we could move on the things yeah. as we need to. I'll actually, I'll send yeah. uh, SDE the kind of the breakdown of what our, our wish list with building and kind of that sketch right. that I have and see what they say. Because I know you can do a okay. lot of things with pole buildings. Right. Like, but there's more. Yeah. So sounds like a infomercial. Yeah, but wait, there's more. Yeah, but wait, there's more. If when I spoke to Penn Strategies, if this is truly built as an evacuation point, mm -hmm. then the only requirements that we need for an evacuation point is having adequate bathroom facilities and a kitchenette, not a full kitchen. Mm -hmm. So a kitchenette and bathroom facilities and a shower because we're a collection point, not a, like an overnight stay type of a place. Mm -hmm. um, plus a, a, our original idea with using it as a community center, that opens us up to a lot more um, right grants. Yeah. So it's incorporating those concepts and those that's something that mm -hmm. I did uh, speak to Chuck about. Those couple of yeah. things are actually in in yeah. the, the original wish list because okay. I figured if we had a, a large meeting space that's divisible, like yeah. you have two very large rooms that can be opened up yeah. into one really large room, one of them has a kitchenette attached yeah. to it. That way, if somebody wanted to like have a wedding reception or something like that, then yeah. you could. Um, likewise, the bathroom uh, would have the main part there. Uh, one of the bathrooms, I believe, I had a little like asterisk for like a shower. Mm -hmm. And then the bathroom by the garage was to have like an eye wash station. Oh, yeah, a, we need that. We need, we need so much more compliance. Yeah. And OSHA standards, so. too. And having a separate garage. Yes. Yeah. Not be, yes. To the yes. Building. Yes. So, yes. So, Chuck had told us about the two projects that they're currently designing. So, and I think it's going from there. Of course, it's going to be getting designs and, and prices, hopefully, from multiple people. But again, like we, I said, Chuck, can you give us an idea how much this? will cost us to design it mm -hmm. because when we asked the engineering firm we got bills for the question of how much it would cost we don't want you to charge us we just want to think it's just like how much is that computer going to yeah, cost yeah we just want a ballpark and, and and i was really taken aback that we got that bill you know i really i really was taken aback by that so i'm hoping chuck would say well you know just a simple email I so and so has paid so much for their design. Your design, depending on what you would do, may be different. Blah blah blah. The usual yeah. exemptions. So, who build us? What who build us? One guess. So uh -huh. yeah, when we asked about the elevator, Tell them to kiss it was paid. Them. No, it was worked on. He sent us a bill. That, you know, we asked him for a ballpark figure, yeah. and he billed us. He billed us. Because because he felt like he had to come in and take an assessment of the building and, and say this is what it would take. So yeah. Whatever. Oh. So do you want to make a motion to complete this thing online or yes, I'll make a motion to uh complete our response to EMC insurance no later than the due date of November nineteenth. I'll come in and I'll take care of that then. Is there a second? Is that a second, Irene? I'll second it. Roll call, Peter. Aye. Irene. Aye. Jim. Aye. Okay. Next is the insurance for the ice skating on the multi-purpose court. Um, premium increase would be two hundred fifty-one dollars annually to to do this. Um, Lee, have you guys tried doing like a test fill on your? Have you tried filling the the ice rink yet? Okay. Um, uh. Looks like EMC would, uh, or excuse me, the insurance company would require written sets of rules governing the use of the facility to be clearly posted at each entrance, a written notice to be posted warning of the hazards and the dangers associated with the use of ice skating, a written notice to be posted stating that ice skating rink is only to be used by persons with ice skates, and that the ice skating rink's hours must coincide with the park hours. That's signage that we can put up. It sounds worse than it is, but it's the standard skate at your own risk, yeah. uh, only open from like dusk to dawn or dawn to dusk excuse me um 
So uh, we would need to get some signage for that. I'll figure that out and I'll get that ordered with, with MSI if everybody's on, on board with make that. A merchant well, yeah. can we make sure everything works? Before? Yeah, that's, uh, that's fair. That's fair. Make sure yeah. everything is, yeah. is in working order. So how about, how about we, <laughs> we motion to allow me to get the signs pending a successful test of the, the thing. So I'll make a motion to purchase the necessary signage for the ice skating on the multi-purpose court pending a successful fill test from the MTCA. Second. Roll call, Peter. Aye. Irene. Aye. Jim. Aye. Okay. Uh, next, also about signage, which needs three sharp road signs, as uh, I think somebody has maybe lifted lifted uh, them. Uh, uh, one disappeared. One disappeared. Okay. Um, uh, it's, uh, isn't sharp, uh, you told me sharp. Okay, you, told, you told me sharp. I, I, I called I call them yesterday. Uh, Where is it? You know, Frankfurt. At Sheridan. 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 Okay. Uh, and I, I, I ordered it myself. Okay. So, okay. I'll make a motion to approve the, the purchase of the three uh, Sheridan road signs. Second. Roll call, Peter. Aye. Irene. Aye. Jim. Aye. And uh, they told me yesterday that if you don't, if you don't order any more signs, they'll be ready to choose. Okay. Okay. If chances are we probably won't order any additional signs until after Tuesday, so. So I'll probably be looking down and wondering what it is. Okay. Thank you, Butch. <laughs> Okay. Next is the billing for Stone Group Landmark. Um, Irene, I don't know if you want to, you've done yeah, the lion's yeah. share of the well, work on this I one. I can see Dan's done uh, most of the work. He, Dan diligently dug through all the boxes and compiled everything. Uh, so we were able to send a letter out through with the help of um, Colin McFarlane through uh, Kalthoff Stout to Stone Group for the amount of uh, $30,121.71 which was owed to us for professional consulting fees, costs, et cetera, occurred between September and November of 2021. Oh, I'm sorry. No, that's okay. It's okay. But it was 21. I don't want to be in November 1,029, but that's okay. I'm here it's okay. Um, no, it says September 2010 and November 2019. 2019. Yeah. Um, he received the correspondence and documentation from Landmark's attorney, and uh, that they agreed to pay us $29,121.71 as they were able to find a bill that was paid for $1,029. And so uh, Colin advised us to accept that offer and I agree. So, yes. yes. Yeah, you wanna make a motion yes. to accept uh, that offer? I'd like to make a motion to accept the sum of $29,121.71 as reimbursement of fees from Stone Group. Second. Roll call, Peter. Aye. Irene. Aye. Jim. Aye. And a tremendous thank you to Dan. Yeah, thank, thank you. you very much, Dan. Yeah. Dan, while we're on that subject of you looking through those boxes, you had asked me if the roads were ever dedicated in Stonecrop. Yes. Sue and I talked about that, and that would have never come through the township I don't since, know. It's, since it's just through the HOA. Uh, yeah, we don't own, we, <clears throat> we never proposed to own those roads, so I don't know that we would be notified that if they were dedicated to the HOA. So you may have to just go back through those boxes again. And see I, I have no idea. If it's ever was dedicated and handled. They're not public roads, they're private roads. No, I understand that. Question was, were the roads dedicated to Stone Crop, but well, you should have gotten that paperwork, not us. Yeah. HOA should have gotten yeah. that paperwork. Yeah. They might not have been then. Uh, yeah, they they might have been. Been. I'm thinking that they weren't, but if they were, it's going to be in that box of paperwork that you have already been through a couple of times. The reason why I didn't see any of it. We did, uh, yeah, either. but we, we looked at the bills. Now, yeah, last Tuesday. And we took a number of pictures on old road mm. and new road. There are a number of train holders that are collapsing. They're breaking down, and the material is starting to come out around the 
it wouldn't have been in the book. So I would think landmark or stone group should yeah. have documentation yeah. and yeah. dedication to a road. Yeah. Yeah. We're trying to find figure out who actually owns it. Yeah. 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 Other agreements. So I, um, I'd say contact landmark yeah. or stone yeah. group and ask yeah. them. Because the stuff that we were looking through was only the bills. It right. was not any of the plans. Well, and, and HOA yeah. has been in here yearly for the how many years looking through the two boxes of the yeah. Stonecroft stuff. If it, if it wasn't in there, it, we don't yeah, have it. I don't recall seeing it either because of all the, the um, uh, right to know requests. Mm -hmm. I don't recall seeing I it. There hasn't been a request made to release bond money yet. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, so they have to request release. Yeah. That. Yeah. So, but, uh, yeah. I, right. Right. Mm -hmm. I I would think that their attorney would be prudent and make sure all the steps would be done before they are going to request re request the release of the bonds mm -hmm. money. So, um, yeah. I mean, if that's a deficiency, then I mean, it's not their first development. It's just add no. it yeah. to the list. Add it to the file. Right. Yeah. If you, there's other things they haven't done either. So if you have the pictures, we can get them in and we can put them in. <clears throat> yeah. 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 The picture really is worth a thousand words, so we can put it up in, in big. Up. Yeah. We were shocked with the number. We started looking at the we were shocked with the number of all the staff and Richie down and in the new section mm -hmm. as well. Okay. Well, everything they do is such a wonderful job. I had uh, to replace a little piece of siding, and I told him, maybe you better order me another piece, and I'll just keep it in case I need it again. He said, believe me, you'll never have any problem finding this. It's the cheapest siding. Mm -hmm. uh, <clears throat> That's what contractors do. Yeah. So, yeah, they, they cut a lot of corners. Okay, on to the next item, which is the County Bridge on Hickory Road. Uh, we got notification of the Chapter 105 General Permit Registration. Um, McCormick Taylor uh, sent notification that they're preparing a DEP permit registration package for Berks County to add rock lining to the corners of the abutments. Um, really no additional action needed on this time. We'll just have to keep an eye on it. Uh, next, the backhoe warranty is expiring on 12-23-2022. Uh, plaster or equipment will do a free machine inspection at their shop or will do the machine inspection at the township building for a charge. They don't say what the charge is. Yeah. Say... Let's, let's find out. Cause I, do you know how much they charge us to come out here and fix the thing? No. So, but if you can oh. find out before Thursday, let us know. Cause I, I would like to have it looked over before the warranty expires. Oh. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Get, get us price on that. Well, no, they'll, they'll, I said they'll, they'll come, come here. here. They'll come here, but uh, find out how much it's going to be. Because I don't want to have to have you drive that all the way up for Yeah, you don't have a trailer to haul. Yeah. So. so it says our normal travel charge will apply to inspections made at your facility. I'll call. Yeah, I'll and call say if somebody calls them, that, that yeah. could be something as simple as like mileage. Yeah. Yeah. So. Oh. Yeah. But we don't know. We're, we're we're guessing here. So if we give them a call and find out, I'm I'm all for it though. I'd rather have it looked over before the warranty expires. Okay. okay. Uh, next is the stormwater MS4 waiver. Uh, this was approved by DEP. The effective date on that is February first, twenty twenty three, and has a five year term expiring on January thirty first, twenty twenty eight. So we're we're good on MS4 for a while again. Mm -hmm. Uh, next is EMC equipment. Uh, we have not gotten any written I, quotes I, from John I, yet, I but we'll, take that. we'll kind of stand by on that. No, I've got, I'll take 23 and 24. Okay. So um, I reached out to Penn Strategy. They're a Pennsylvania organization in uh, located in Harrisburg that primarily works with small townships um, and helping them with grant opportunities and is every kind of grant opportunity. They do have people that specialize with law enforcement, EMS, and fire. So we had a, a, a long, con well, I shouldn't say a very long conversation, but we had a, a, a nice extensive conversation. Mm -hmm. And basically how their organization functions is um, we have two ways of approaching this. We can say, here's our wish list. 
please work on grants, go from there. And as we're getting a little bit more familiar with how grants work, there's some different kinds of opportunities. There's matching, there's full funding, et cetera. So they told me uh, there was a township they were working with that they built a new building and they had 11 grants for that one project that helped this township build their building. Now to me, that's just amazing. So they, I didn't uh, check my emails that they were gonna send me email over what their costs are. So they said either we can have them on what they said was like a retainer fee. We work with it month by month. We have a monthly bill. And this way we have them almost continuously looking for grants for project opportunities or that there's a fee paid for each grant opportunity. Now, because we have kind of been unfamiliar with what to do, we didn't really know or realize that there is so much opportunity for us to move forward with projects. Mm -hmm. So um, I spoke with John. I had a brief conversation with uh, uh, Chief Jonick as well. Um, I think I did not see the list that that uh, Chief Jonick uh, sent over, and I it's apologize. It's not a list. It's kind of well, it is kind of a list. It's it, in the. It, I, I apologize. I did. I didn't pull it up because Jonick? Chief Jonick. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, can can I keep this copy? No. Okay. Well, um, Chief. Uh, I'll give it back to you. I'll, I'll make a copy. So I mean, Chief Gronick is kind of like in the same position that we're in, where he comes into the position and there's things that were kind of like, okay, we're not going to deal with it. We're not going to deal with it. And now he finds himself like needing equipment. And as we know, the cost of contracting with Tulpa Hawking has gone up. Again, there's a lot of factors that go into it along with inflation, increasing cost of living, et cetera. So part of my questions for them was, what can you do for us? John put together a wish list a huge wish list because sometimes you don't know what you can get for that. You know, sometimes it's like things fall in your lap. So he, to me, some of it's a little bit ridiculous, but um, simpler things like having a trailer available that can be towed by one of our vehicles here that can be brought to a scene to use for emergency management purposes. Um, another thing that we addressed briefly last year when canal road floods, there should be no traffic on canal road because now it's a drowning hazard and, yes. and, and that's a problem. Uh, he wants to get something as simple as saws so that, um, if things need to be cut through trees down, et cetera, et cetera. So I do have a list here. I'm going to ask him to pare it down. There's some things that we can buy out of his budget that I think should be bought more immediately. So he had talked briefly last meeting about the pump out boxes. And so having a simple contractor for homeowners to use, this is how you use the pump. Here's the box. You need to bring it back, sign here. You bring back something damaged or something missing, you're financially responsible for replacing that item. They've signed the contract. It's legit, whatever. But he's given me a, a little bit of a crazy list. But at the same time, when I spoke with Penn Strategies, they said that that's okay. You know, we don't, you don't know what's out there until you ask for it. Um, so, and I want to, I, I want to be able to help the Tulhawken Police Department about because they're our contracted service. My proposal is that the extent of our help with Tulhawken PD is that we um, pay if we know the differences now with applying for different kinds of um, grants. So we would have to see what the fee is to apply for that grant to share a portion of the fee only for, for maybe the grant application rather than the matching funds mm -hmm. so that um, we're assisting them, but we're not bearing the entire cost because we don't know what their structure is within their township as far as the residents go and paying for the mm -hmm. police services. We're contracted with them, but I, I want to extend the help. So let's say it's $1,700 for a particular grant. We pay half of that because we benefit by their services, but we're not putting up any matching funds towards that grant, et cetera. Mm -hmm. So maybe just, you know, applying for a certain portion of the cost because we directly benefit by their services. Yeah. So as long as it's okay with you, I'm going to just continue to get more information from Penn Strategies. We can put together a package and put together the information. And again, that's where we, I think we have been severely lacking in the past. It's what information do you need? Yeah. So the more we give people, the, the less work that they have to do, the less they charge us. So for example, I've written those ordinances. It's just a matter of review by Andy or one of his associates. And I think it may have saved us money. 
So I am have been speaking to the other countywide officials, including other emergency management coordinators, and saying, hey, let us know how severe storms have impacted us, all kinds of weather conditions, all kinds of rescue operations, because we have a lot of waterways within Marion's Township. If I can get all that data, and as I don't know how much you read through the information that Hyperterra wrote for us, mm -hmm. if I could get all that data, put it into a narrative and say, this is why we need the equipment. This is how we're impacted by it. I've done most of the work that we know needs to be done now for grant writing. And hopefully that'll save us a lot of money because they're not having to do all the footwork. And I have it documented by um, whatever information I can garner from the county, I've done the work for them. So maybe that can minimize the cost. They know who, have, who has the uh, grants and they could start the application process. So sure. that, that's what I'm excited. I was really excited about that conversation yesterday. Um, so that mm -hmm. far I'm at, is that okay with you guys? I'm just going yeah. to continue to have Please. a conversation with Please. these people. Great. Once we have something more detailed and concrete, they can say, okay, it's going to cost us this much to put in the application for grants for the police department stuff. It's going to cost us this much for emergency management equipment. But also on that note, they also said, hey, we do stormwater management. So the issues that we have in the village, they also do building stuff. So again, this is, it. I think it's a time that we get together a whole packet. We have a building design, we have a purpose, we have everything ready to go. If they say, hey, Marion, we've come across these grants, it's gonna cost you this much equipment for the grants. The other thing that they mentioned was the USDA gives loans, 40 year loans at 1%. So that's a big game changer for us when it comes to a building and they do do buildings because if we have it as the community center and evacuation point, those are two things in our favor. So if we're going to look at a building, a 40 year loan is hugely different from a 20 year loan. And with what current rates are, um, when I spoke to the bank last year, they doubled. Last, when before things doubled, our mortgage would have been the same amount as what our uh, budgeted amounts would be. And so now if we expand that to a 40 year loan, it really doesn't change for us. So if we have a building, what we've already dedicated towards a mortgage, I, I think on a $1.25 million loan, it would cost us the exact same as what we are budgeting currently for building repairs. So I'm crossing my fingers. I'm, I'm, I'm being lofty. I am really being hopeful, but I'm going to kind of get the ball rolling, put together the packets, put together all the information, say, this is it. And hopefully cross my fingers, we don't break the bank and we're able to do all these things. So. Yeah, I mean, if, if, if it's going to break the bank, we aren't going to do we it. We can't do it, but right, right. if there's grant opportunities available, like we talked about before with the building, if we, yeah. if we go for specific things like the evacuation site or like the community center sort of things, um, there's lots of stuff that we can chase for grants. We might get 75, 80, 85% of the cost of the building paid for in grants. And it, at that point, it becomes a no-brainer. We spend one year's budget on building maintenance, and we have a new a new space. Yeah, yeah. So, and we don't even factor into that the sale of the building and what that would give to us. So, all right. So, yeah, I'm going to have John break out some of the stuff that we can afford with our budget that he has remaining from his budget for this year. Because some of the stuff are, 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 is reasonable. Some of the stuff is very lofty. Um, and I think those things... Sometimes you don't know you could get it until you ask for it and they go, Well, of course you could have it. You know. But he just needs to get written quotes. Written quotes. To be approved. Yep. Yep. We'll put together the quotes for the uh, pump out boxes because I think that's very important to do. Okay. Thank you for that, Irene. Next is the 2023 proposed budget. Um, I'll actually share my screen on the Zoom. Um, that way everybody can see it. Is anybody is... on Zoom? What's that? Is no. anybody on Zoom? No. no. At all. So I started pulling preliminary numbers on things. Um, Jim, to answer your question, the difference between two mills for a tax rate and four mills is about $230,000, which is a pretty decent amount of money, but it's it would go a lot faster than, than you'd think. Um, and that would be a huge, huge increase in tax for, for everybody in the community. Like it's double. I believe. Um, 
What was that? I will say oh, yeah. that NASA moved. Yeah, I'm, I'm not for it, yeah, but okay. I, I, I pulled the number for your, your curiosity. It gets us, like I said, basically it doubles the the income, but it's really not so much that's going to make um, that much of a difference. Like we'd be able to do a couple of couple of road, smaller road projects, but that's not even one full mile of, a, of an FDR. So I personally am not in favor of that, but I just wanted to make sure that we, we did cover that since that was a request from Jim to see what that would actually translate to. Um, you, 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 people would be forced to leave. They yeah, wouldn't be it, able to live there. I can't afford that. You're talking three to four hundred dollars. Um, average property. Like that's that's not even the average property. Well, I think that would it would go from on an average property is about I want to say twelve hundred dollars a year for for our portion of the the taxes, not the school taxes, but just like the the township mm -hmm. local tax. So you'd be looking at basically twenty four, twenty five hundred dollars a year instead of twelve hundred. What do you What do you think? I mean, it's so four or five hundred dollars a month. I don't have any of my. I don't think my, so. I don't have any of my. I don't think saved. so. My employees live in Stone Cold. Yeah. Yeah. Either way, we would be looking at essentially. I, I, mean, I won't live now, but I can check. I have to yeah. get a copy of the tax bills. I have them saved on like my server at home. Okay. I don't have them on my laptop, but. Just, just trying to recollect. I want to say that my my local stuff was about thousand, like twelve hundred dollars. Well, the spring tax is county and township. Oh, right, 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 mm -hmm. right, right. So, do you want me to go look at? Uh, yeah, if you would, that'd be great. Um, I just don't know that it's going to get us that much bang for our buck. No, I don't know about double. The cost that? of everything is going up. I mean, we may have to consider raising. Well, that. well, before we consider raising it quite that hard let's let's come back to that because I, I have this set up so that we can i can change that millage number and it'll change what that figure is okay. um rough ballpark before us every tenth of a mill that you go up is about 10 grand worth of income are you able to make that a little bit oh yeah, yeah 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 for everyone else uh, can you, yeah, can you guys see that okay or can we make it we... making a little bit larger make larger see what i can do on that i think the view Thank you. Yep. Oh, I'm sorry to pull up the street lights so. off. It's okay. Okay. I've been just kind of noodling yeah. with that as best I could. Yeah. But we have like around eight thousand in uh, street lights right now. Okay, that's I think pretty much on target yeah. for what it was yeah. last year. So looking at street lights, I'll plug in the the year to date through October. But no, no, that's yeah. fine. But I, I left pretty much the budget for twenty two exactly because yeah. I, Everything's going up. Yeah, I mean everything's going up, but we still have a surplus um, in that account. So yeah, uh, but plus wise, it's a uh, on average four percent. Four percent. Yeah. Okay. Almost do five percent. Is it covered? Yeah, so we'd short the account by about eighteen hundred dollars, but we have a pretty decent amount in there. Uh, at the start of 2022, that's what we, what we had. Yeah. So won't mess with that. Road fund. Road fund is going to need some attention around the pulvert projects, which I'll put in there because there's um this this should cover it because we have about three hundred and eighty-five thousand right. worth of worth of that. But if I need to adjust that, I can. Uh winter maintenance of supplies would be Anything we'd need from salt to yeah. you name it, if we need yeah. to do something with a plow. We didn't have a bad year last year, so yeah. I'm almost spent, but we can't pick the water. And then I sent you the request from Butch for the purchase of a boom. Yeah, I need to I need to fit that okay. in. Uh, I don't know if it'll be out of the road fund or the general fund, but we can we can put that I in there. I would probably say general, general fund. Yeah. Okay. Topic. Okay, so yeah. Uh, but thank you sir yeah actually you are you're correct jim your your slice of that goes to us is 461 dollars so I that would go up to 800 to move yeah. 461 dollars yeah i don't pay that much i pay a lot more than that and if my 
property tax is double, I'm leaving. So, oh, yeah. yeah. And your property tax yeah. is Hold on. double, only Hold your on. township yeah. tax is so, double. Yeah. So, yeah. It's, 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 it's this portion of it. I know yeah. your property so, tax. So, yeah. county, the county one is the big cool. one. Yeah. Cool. That's yeah. Kind of yeah. The county stuff is the, is the big one. The school tax is the even bigger yeah. one. So, so, you, that's so that, one, that would double. Right. So, for someone like me, that's not terrible. But for someone who's on a fixed income, Coming up with another four hundred dollars is quite Some, significant. But the ones that are on a fixed income probably were talking a hundred to two hundred. I don't know because their house is valued like yours is because they're not living. Yeah, like I said, I don't dispute that it might not be might not be a bad idea to raise it a slight bit, but I don't know if we want to go well, four. Yeah, need double yeah. I think we need. But I mean, if we do, two, 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 I would say one let's. One. Here, let me go back to the main sheet. Let me one look at two point two. One mil or even a half a mil. So that if we took it up, the cost if we took up return. two mills, that would take us basically a twenty-four thousand dollar increase in in revenue. Twenty-four thousand dollars goes a long way in this office. Yeah, you know we're very conservative as to what we do. So yeah, and no paper grant writing. Yeah, looking no paper grant writing. Looking yeah. at the the expenditures as is, um, we're going to need to tweak because the total revenue expected, um. It's 514 and the uh total expenses is 624 so we've got about a hundred and fifteen thousand dollar shortfall between revenue and expenses projected does that include the money we got from the, the arp it does not actually not. Okay. so the the budget for, yeah the the, the the 23 budget does not have that in there because we're not anticipating a disbursement in 2023. There's no more funds. Um, and we have to have a plan by 2024 as to how to uh, expend it. So we're 124,000 short. That's about one mil. Well, we can also, um, we can also adjust some things. And this is the, the purpose of this workshop meeting is to go through and see if there are areas that we want to reduce. Mm -hmm. um, I've left the the incomes as projected. This is the one that's based on that millage amount for the, the 2.0. Um, we actually got more this past year in real estate tax than we were anticipating. Not mm -hmm. sure really how that shakes out, but we did. Because the oldest final bill. Ah, uh, right, 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 right. Um, so there's not going to really be any new construction. You're not going to get a lot of this money that was collected this year that, yeah. that you found. Yeah. Yeah. We didn't even you didn't even include that in the budget, did you? No. But we're recovering our engineering costs about half. So half yeah. of our professional services were getting reimbursed. Yeah. So, the, so we're not bleeding that money out anymore. So with all that money that was recovered, that's close to seventy thousand dollars. None of that has been fixed into the budget. So as it probably shouldn't because it's a one it's, it's, a, it's a one right. time yeah right. so anything, anything that's a one-off right. shouldn't be figured in other than in the calendar year that i'd like to see all the expenses reduced but I mean, the reality is, is there's only there's, there's only so much back yeah you've been mm -hmm. in a grocery that's store right. lately you, you understand what i'm saying yeah yeah you used to go home with a couple of bags that cost you twenty dollars now you go with a couple of bags it's two hundred dollars yeah depends on what you're doing yeah all right so where are you going to start? Going so to start? let's let's start at the top. So okay. for for the incomes, I, I again I really didn't mess with that too much, other than I revised the calculations based on millage for what would be considered in current year 2023. Um, things that are like income tax delinquent, I actually ratcheted down. We had budgeted two thousand dollar last year, but we only ended up taking in about fourteen hundred. I think fourteen hundred is probably a more reasonable guess. I don't want to over assume that we're going to get things but that's yeah that's pretty much on track every year we get get between about 1500 and 2000 which is what yeah. we typically budget for two um 1000 for the interim uh real estate taxes which is low far lower than what we've taken in but we had a lot that yeah. came in this year yeah. um i don't want to hang our hat on that because it's not a good not a good assumption uh per capita taxes for the current year uh 5000 leaving that budget line the same Per capita for the tax year prior, we didn't actually have anything, uh, so we're going to leave that. Uh, real estate transfer tax, uh, we had budgeted 30000 for the past number of years, but we had a pretty big year this past year, so it was uh, forty-five. We can either budget forty or we can keep it at 30. 
Um, and well, they're probably because of stone crop. Yeah, probably, probably because of stone crop. And that, okay. that's yeah. stopped. Okay. That's going to stop. Okay. The earned income taxes for the current year. That's pretty uh, It's pretty, as I say, that's pretty steady every year. It's about 130000 um, nice have all this data here, Peter. Thank you. Yep. It's that's a good way to make decisions. Yep. Um, earned income taxes for the prior year, not putting anything in there because that's not a guarantee. That's yep. you could get nothing, you yep. could get thirty thousand. Um uh, soliciting permit, we don't have anything that is really used. The cable TV franchise, um put yeah. that I left that at the twelve thousand. It'll be bumped bumped up a little bit, yes, but, but later at twelve thousand. Yeah. Demolition permits going down to uh, fines and parking violations. We don't typically budget for that because we can't assume any yeah. any actual structural uh, income from there. Um, interest on checking, I put it $50 because we're going to be depleting parts of the checking yeah. account with some of the projects that are coming up. Uh, interest on savings and all the way down to the municipal pension reimbursement. Don't have anything budget, budgeted for them normally. Um, I do need to grab the American Rescue Plan uh, numbers for what we received this year so that I can update the, yeah. the, the current. The second part was 101 something. Yeah, but it was, look at that 318 extra. Yeah. Yeah, I need to. I can get the yeah, well, no, no rush, but just so that I have it for, for clerical reasons. Um, that's not going to have a 2023 line item. So it's it's mostly just for housekeeping. Here's that second number. Okay. Um, do we have, is that the total or just the second? That, this, this is the, that's the total. This is the one we just received. Okay. Yeah. 41, 51. Here. Yes. Yes. There was a 318.61 was the other one. Yeah. Me to look. I can look. Just, um, this is only good. I have it on the last month's agenda. So. Okay. Yeah. If you can, you can find that for me real quick. What? Yeah. 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 Okay, Dan. Does it not give that any meaning that we didn't short term CD where the interest rate right now? I don't think we have. Think yeah. We more likely than not can't do any of that because it's taxpayer dollars. I, I could find out at the bank. I talked to um, Pam at the bank. What other strategies can we use to save money? Mm -hmm. We are not eligible for so many things because we're not, it's a municipality. It's not a personal type or, of thing. Or business. Yeah, or business. So um, I can talk again. There's very little that we can do. Hey, yeah. Sue, while you're in there, would you look up the um, the foreign fire tax amount oh, I, too? I just wrote that chat. Yeah, it's like 12 something. No, that was from what? what? It was more. It was, it more. was like 14. Okay. Yeah, it was from last month. That's Those on just the pass through. Yeah, I mean it's just a pass through, but I want to make sure. Uh, I think you I think you missed the digit on that. Was that one zero one four eight six? That was the first one. Yeah. Okay. That was the first one. That was the second one that we got. Oh, okay. So I added in the three eighteen sixty one then. Okay. Yeah. So that was plus. So, so the total should be one hundred one thousand one sixty seven and sixty five. Thanks. Sir. Thank, you, Sue. Thank you. Okay, that's not getting anything this year. Yeah. No. Then, like I said, the foreign fire thing. Um, it was fourteen thousand and change. Yeah. And that's always a pass through. Yeah, I'll come back to yeah. that in a second. I gotta just I've gotta make sure they line up in yeah. two places. Thank you, Sue. Oh, I have it right here in front of me. I'm sorry. That's okay. I'm sorry, Sue. I have it. Yeah. Too. Yeah, but from an accounting standpoint, yeah. we need to make sure that we're budgeting the right yeah. things in both places. Um plan review fees. Uh we don't normally budget anything on yep. there it's a hit or miss it's yeah you could have uh, actually we're, we're gonna have more of those because that's what we're billing back for um so so we started finally uh when somebody submit plant submits plans they have to pay a fee yeah um and we might want to change those fees right yeah let's so we'll, have that because they don't cover costs. costs yeah have it somewhere 
Okay. Yeah. So they have to pay the saldo yeah. review fee and the stormwater review fee. I will send that to you. Yeah. And then uh, we'll right to the top of my yeah. inbox. We'll do that not at the reorg meeting, but at the January yeah, meeting. Let's, okay. let's early, split fees. Early yeah. next year, we need to change okay. it. So yeah. do that. So, so put in like twenty five hundred. So we should. I mean, we don't get that many plans. No. But um. Yeah, here I'll put it. I'll be conservative. I'll okay. Put in. Well, we'll probably get one for. Yeah, we're for the. I mean, the development. If the development goes in, that could be a lot. Yeah. Or, or if the development couldn't go in next year, and it could be nothing. So, yeah. um, in terms of revenues, I'd rather under budget on revenue. Yep. Yeah. And be happily surprised rather than the other way around. Um, zoning permits, we had a big year on that. So, that yeah. So, I, I had put it down to 30. Do we want to put it down to, put it down to 10 or 15? 10, 10 or 15? Yeah. Jim, what are your thoughts? Yeah. 15? Because zoning permits are like the sheds. It's, and most yeah. are so hot, so yeah. That's, yeah. that's true. Yeah. yeah. That's true. Yeah. yeah. Okay. okay. Well, no, no. So revenue, revenue is okay if we go over. It's expenses that you don't want to go over on. Um, it's actually you're you're pleasantly surprised when your revenue is is yeah. over. That's that's a good thing. Yeah. Um, as as you saw this year, I was able to break out like all the little permits. Yeah. We got all these little strange ones, and I'm like, we don't have a, a code for that. So I just continued with that same number. I'm gonna double check. Um. I'm I'm pretty sure that's fine to do because that's what's in the chart of accounts, but it makes it a little bit easier when you get the um uh information. You can pull it up under how many of these, how many of that. Because if we start seeing trends, then we know we could budget out, break it out for that particular thing. So yeah. That's um next one is building permits overall. Um we got basically seventy thousand off of that this year. It's gonna go. It's gonna go down. So we only do want to drop it to forty, or do we want to drop it to twenty, which is what we've had the past couple I of years. It to twenty. Okay. What do you think? Twenty. Okay. Uh, for electrical permits, um, we haven't budgeted anything in the past, but just looking through, we've always had at least five hundred dollars worth of electrical permits. Um, sewage permits. I have a feeling that's going to go up based on the whole holding tanks and everything that's going on with that. I did not. I need to do that. I'm sorry. Yeah. Um. If they're still open by the time we leave, I'll just stop by. Open open. I think they're open till yeah. noon. So, um, so I I kind of ballpark the figure of two grand there for the first year of that really happening in earnest. Chances mm -hmm. are that will probably be higher, but that again is largely a, mm -hmm. a pass through sort of thing. Yeah. Um, those 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 are held in. Oh, that's right. that's gross. So we don't really have it's not our money. But no, money no, it's it's technically a liability yeah. rather than yeah. an income. But yeah. um, so uh, contracted mowing, we have received uh, eight hundred and one dollars. We typically, I, I think, we just didn't have the second so half the of that. Second half should be coming, and I want to say it's the same amount. Yeah. So we're gonna we receive notice that we were should be getting paid. Yeah. Okay. I have to check. Because got yeah, we got the notification, but because the the you got notice but not payment yet yeah. until the oh, end yeah. of the month. Like I don't do I'll yeah. do October's at the beginning of November because yeah. I don't get the statement. So okay. yeah. no, the rest of those are miscellaneous revenue contributions, right to know prior expenses, which I'm not putting anything in for. Mm -hmm. So right now we have an operating income budget of four hundred and sixty six thousand seventy five dollars and twelve cents. Um this is where things are going to get interesting. So the uh, the expense component of it is where we're going to have to look to see where we can trim, where we can otherwise cut or massage yeah. a little bit to try to get things just to fit. everyone's information, the salaries of the supervisors, the only thing any of us take money for is the meetings. That's it. None yeah. of us take money for anything else. So, we're, we're legally required yeah, to do that. That's the only thing that we take money for. And I personally donate it back to the community, so... Um, yeah, Jim said he does too. He just got three kids, so <laughs> I occasionally donate things. Yeah. Um, he was just donate to Peter, Peter. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But none of them, for all the work uh, that I do, all the hours that I'm here, and I'm here, I would say anywhere from 10 plus hours a week, I don't take any money, so yeah, yeah. sorry. I mean, other than maybe Sue, Sue, I think, yeah, no, not bless Sue, yeah, no, bless Sue. 
Yeah. Yep. So uh, the salaries of the supervisors was largely a fixed amount. I rounded it up to a whole number of 3,800 because the yeah. projected is 3744. Um, I, I didn't look to see if we got notification from Jet Pay as far as increase in cost and fees. They didn't. They didn't. So yeah. Yeah. So for the payroll service expense, I projected that we'd be spending about two grand this year. Mm -hmm. So it'll be about the same with a, a slight yeah. increase next year. Um, didn't budget, or we didn't actually use anything for other personal services. Um, that's because I'm using the category is, at the very specific. Yeah, case. so I, I don't want to say like we can just get rid of that. Okay. Um, there were because like we had like um I don't know Rick Rule, but he oh, goes to professional yeah. services, so I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, I think I think you're right. I think we just yeah. aggregated that under yeah, other account services. lines, but um, there were a couple here that I made notes of that we need to. Right, I'll jump ahead for a second. Um, these other services and firms, yeah. they're too wide for the exact yeah. same thing. We just need to consolidate them into. Okay, so just correct that in my chart. Yeah, of yeah, yeah. 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 It's, just, it's just moving okay. things from the one chart of accounts to the other. Let me. Okay. And that's uh, 41030 and yeah. 410. But I, I honestly, I think something just got put into 410, like the main, like the um, parent account rather than the sub. So are you there yet? No, no, we're not there yet. Get there, but I guess um, um, that was that was my yeah. recommendation. Was just housekeeping there. Uh, contribution to employee benefits um, between now and the end of the year, realistically, it's going to be just shy of about six thousand. Yeah. Um, so I rounded it up to six thousand, barring for a little bit of an increase. Um, communications around postage. Um, we've only spent about two hundred and fifty dollars, but I know we're going to be sending out stuff next year and postage yeah. postage yeah. is postage yeah that, yeah I, yeah i, I yeah. think so whenever you talk but I, I figured a thousand for postage yeah. throughout the, the entirety of next year is probably a safe bet yeah yeah because i mean if you do a bulk mailing that's 500 bucks right there yeah um other services not putting anything in there uh communication telephone and internet um, all told for this year, the Comcast and everything should be about $2,500. Um, that, I know they increased that amount. So, yeah. okay. Yeah. So that's, that's got the, the increase built into it. I'll double check and make sure that my, yeah. my math is right and on I that, but. We should have our, the, um, our taxes that we mm -hmm. have. Cause then sometimes we slip that in. Yeah. We had, to, I had to yell at them about that a while ago where they, they weren't yeah. giving us that. I was like, guys, like, come on. Um, mm -hmm. but. That should be good there for communications website and multimedia. Um, this is potentially a little on the high side because we're not um, we're not going through the majority of that with what we pay for the um, the Civic Plus thing for the website. Yes. Um, so this would just be I got to look and see what the the annual cost for Civic actually is. Um, Thirty five hundred. Yeah, I think it was about. I think it was. I think it's like yeah. three thousand or thirty three hundred. Now that you say that, but. Um, I wanted to leave this at five. So if we wanted to do things like you had talked about getting the iPads or like tablet yeah. style devices for everybody yeah. here, so we don't have to keep printing stuff out. Uh, if we have to buy licenses for like Microsoft Office, so we have to do an upgrade or we need a new computer or we need another printer or something like that, that it can be, I can maybe do it tomorrow. I can bring Malcolm out and he can help me. Um, but uh, I, I was advocating to leave that at five because i know there's a lot okay. of things we do yeah that's fine it related now that we did in the past and it, it is what it is um next one is for advertising we've advertised about eighteen hundred dollars worth this year rough projection is with the the other stuff that's being advertised now that we haven't necessarily gotten the bill for yet it's going to be about twenty two hundred dollars um I rounded that up to an even increased three, cost. just yeah, yeah. as I say, increased costs. Or if we have changes that we're going to advertise next year with like changes in fees yeah. or, or or like ordinance amendments and things like yeah. that, especially with the uh, the joint zoning. We do one. have a, a credit though because the billing is so confusing, and yeah, so yeah. we have a credit. Well, that's within. that's good. Yeah. That'll help take yeah. a chunk out of it. Again, I'd much rather come in under um, that three thousand dollar number yeah. than than over it. Yeah. Um, dues, subscriptions, and memberships. Uh, we actually were were up this year, and this is something I wanted to ask you about. That's because PSAP previously was giving us a discount on something, but now they've increased. Like now we had to pay. We had like 
I, I could click on the, do you want me to pull it up on the computer if you can answer right now? I, I don't know yeah. if it's hundred percent necessary. Okay. It's, 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 a, a it's a PSAT thing, thing, thing and it's- Previously that they gave us a, a, for free, but now they said, no, we're charging you, so. Yeah, and we're, we're probably gonna have that going into next year for sure. So I, I put it at 15. We can put it up to the, I, I projected 16, 14 based on uh, figuring out what that was per month and dividing it by like, or timing it by 12. So. Yeah, I mean, we really don't, um, CLIG is something that we participate with. There yeah, really isn't, charges. yeah. Yeah, CLG doesn't charge us. Uh, no, no, there, there's the contribution. There's, um, oh, oh, Plig it. Yeah, um, Plig it, Plig it. Yeah. No, 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 we don't have anything to do with Plig it. Um, there's very few dues and subscriptions. So most of that is PSAT. I'm just mm -hmm. trying to think what else is in there. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. If you're both comfortable with that, we'll, yeah. we'll keep with that. Um, conference and meetings. This was, uh, but originally budgeted at 600. We've only used 421, uh, 505, 44 is a rough projection of what we'd use between now and the end of the year total. Um, so I suggest that a budget amount of either 500 or 550, um, it's 50 bucks, but um, come back to that if we want to change it. Uh, the next item is the contributions and donations. Uh, we had budgeted a fifteen hundred dollar amount. I say we keep that. That's okay. the things that we usually give to, like the library. Right. And, um, so know. there's actually more specific. The the actual, chart of accounts yeah. that are. For yeah. Those. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yep. And this year we gave twenty five hundred to the police department. Yep. So we'll, when we get to the, to the police and stuff, side, yeah. so we're gonna talk about who we want to donate to. Yep. Okay. Um, do we want to put that 2500 for the police in the police with the police, thing? or yes. do we want to put that in with the contributions and donations? I would put it in with the police. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, auditing and bookkeeping. Um, we had budgeted for, uh, actually, here, hold on. Let me go. I think I skipped one. Uh, we've got other. We had budgeted $3,500. We've used nothing. I'd say we just blank that yeah. one out, save us yeah. the yeah. money next year. So, so to classify it. So mm -hmm. uh, under contract, we're at a 4% annual increase with Aikens. I think 4%. Okay. So that's a given. Okay. So then audit, or excuse me, auditing and bookkeeping other. So we've spent between $6,080 six, was the exact amount. Yeah. yeah. So if we, if we were to spend at the same rate as the beginning 10 months of the year, we'd be looking at $7,200. I don't think we're actually going to exceed $7,200 no, for that. No, because, yes, because they're, they're uh, 4%. Yeah. yeah. So I would say let's do 6080. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And because they're so good, like if I call them up with a, put it to 6,500, mm. yeah. Because they're so wonderful. Um, uh, the minor extent of, like I buy flash drives yeah. to um, uh, have that stuff ready and available with them. They're wonderful. I have them up. I have them. I send them emails and I make phone calls throughout the year and they're able to help me out with little minor hiccups. So I'm hoping to go into this year with really no stress. Good. So good, good, good. The good. files are in order. Thanks to Dan, usually. Thank we you, have Dan. everything done and um, it, it moves right along. There's, I'm not stressed out about it at all. Okay. Uh, audit wages, we don't actually have anything in there. Same thing with transportation, the tax collector, the real estate tax. Um, we had budgeted for 2022, $9,464.12. Year to date through October is actually $10,470. Um, I'm actually going to fix that projection because I don't think she's going to be billing anymore throughout the rest of the year. Um, so I would almost say we'd want to budget for either like 10,000 or 11,000. 11,000. Okay. Most of the people pay during the discount. The discount. Yeah. Yeah. So let's say. Yeah, that's that's what I had. And if, yeah. if you if you do that, then it yeah. comes to twelve thousand, yeah. which I don't. I she's yeah. not gonna she's yeah. not gonna exceed no. that. Um, okay. Next is the tax collector supplies. We normally budget two hundred for that. She has used basically three hundred. Um, we can leave it at two hundred, or we can put it up to three hundred. 
Wait for 215. 215. Okay. She needed something different this year, right? There's something different. It's the computerized thing is different. I, you would have yeah. thought that would need less supplies, yeah. but you never know. No. Um, it depends on what he has, so she needs to mail out. Yeah. 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 Okay, next is the tax collector insurance and bonding, um, zero, mm -hmm. and the solicitor legal other. Um, that I wanted to talk to you about because I, four. yeah, um, I have to look that up. Yeah, um, that might be like Barley Snyder and some that's, of the other, yeah, stuff. I think that's the stenographers yeah. and stuff for the, yeah, that's some of the other fees that we get from not necessarily. This is bothering me. I'm going to go with that. Okay. Yeah. Um, the, uh, the next one is the government law and professional services. That's that's Andy. Um, we budgeted 42. Year to date, we've spent about 41, 150. Um, if you do a straight month by month projection, it's just shy of 50,000. Um, I don't know that we're going to need 50,000 next year, so I left it at the 42. But. Uh, I'm open for open for debate and discussion. Um, Forty-five. Okay, so let's let's actually let's put it to fifty and see because we're gonna we're gonna have to start once we go through all this stuff we're gonna have to go back through and see where we want to start tearing a little bit and then see where we want to do with um what would actually balance it in terms of the millage increase. Um, salary of the secretary, Sue, uh, year to date has used about 21,000. Um, if current billing habits retain the same, it's about 26. Um, I'm going to make that. Okay. That's, I'm okay with that. So, uh, Irene, are you okay with in lieu of a raise this year? We give Sue a couple extra days of time off. Okay, Jim. Okay, so I'll make that twenty six thousand. That frees up a, a little bit in the budget there for wiggle room. Uh, salary of part time clerical secretary. Um, Sue, or excuse me, not Sue. Uh, Irene, while you're in there, could you get me what we've spent year to date for secretary part time? Thank you. Well, well, I thought we were—I thought we were building dance time under that. It's, oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. Different line item for you. Nope. Yeah, yeah, they're, they're, yeah. No, I, I mixed up the two. I thought that was the damn one. Okay. Okay. And then. Okay, yeah, I can I can fill that in after that's not a huge thing. So I'm just gonna put it I'll put that as five for now, that way we have a little bit of buffer. Okay. So not some of it's gonna be yeah. direct pass through. Okay. Uh next one is the uh secretary other services. Um we haven't budgeted for this in the past, and I was curious because there is about 5,000 in there this past year. It was a code of account that we don't normally use. Four, uh, oh, 405, 405, Because there's things that we buy, so it doesn't quite fit under office supplies. So those are probably, it's the, it's the supplies. Like the shelves and things? I, yeah, I might have, I might have just miscategorized it under equipment, things like that. Okay. So. Um, again, let's take a look at that, yeah. and maybe we just have to recategorize some stuff. Because we had an issue with that last year too. So let's let's. Yeah, I'll yeah, I'll we'll mark see. I'll mark that. Okay. Uh, next, the secretary convention. We budget 150. We haven't used any this year. Um, you don't usually go. Well, okay. It, it depends what it is. It's been right. calling right. like meeting week. Right. Yeah. But now I we're going to hire an assistant secretary. Yeah. So let's leave that there. Yeah. Because I would like it if someone could go. Yeah. That's, yeah. That's interesting. Yeah. Okay. Uh, secretary supplies, we typically budget 500 for. We need to increase that. I mean, we haven't actually even used the 500. But yet. this stuff is, is, should be recategorized. So yeah. that's what I want you to take a look okay. at. Okay. So let me, let me mark that. Let's come yeah. back to that. Because yeah. I don't want to ratchet this up and then not right. ratchet something so, else so down. So it's probably, again, like. So my base comp can be so difficult to decide where does this go because so many things overlap. So. Yeah. 
All right. So we'll come back to that one. The so secretary office equipment, we budget 5,000 for. We've only used about 1,700 so far. Um, could you take we could take, out Yeah, we could take that out of there. Yes. Um, that's also already budgeted into like the multimedia. So, um, so I, I'd almost say we take this down to 2000 and try and fit the other stuff. And let me, let me mark this. We can come back and discuss that too. 2,500, um, I would say. Well, let's, yeah. yeah. So let's, yeah. And well, it, it doesn't involve anything electronic. Because we can put that in, if it's electronic stuff, like if like your monitor dies, we can put it okay. in the multimedia category. Okay. Um, the reason I'm, I'm kind of marking stuff and I want to, yeah. I want to try to be conservative on this is we are still like, if I scroll down here, I we're still way high. Yeah. Um, so uh, secretary and transportation, we usually a lot hundred dollars for, there's been no use of that category yeah. this year. So if you're going to drive to a convention, it's like your mileage. Yeah. yeah. No. Okay. Uh, insurance and bonding is, uh, I think, a new category item. I think that got split out from something else because um, we didn't have anything budgeted for that particular line item in. Is that just the bonding? I was going to say that should just be um, like your bonding and Dan's bonding, which should, that should be only like $1,800. I wasn't sure if that was a sneeze or a cough, but it isn't tight. <laughs> um, okay. I, I used the printout that you gave me. May, uh, let me look up that. That's all. Oh, it's all seltzer. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So that's, um, yeah. So that's the, that's the insurance and bonding. Yeah, that's, that's not like, stuff. okay. And it's higher than I would have thought it was going to be, but. Everything's going up. Yep. Okay. So I would say let's budget 4,000 for that. That yeah. is yeah. pretty much right on the money for yeah. what, what the projected is. Yep. Yeah. Um, the treasurer insurance and bonding. That's that's yeah, that's yeah and that we don't. Yeah, yeah, the two treasurers, but it's about nine hundred bucks a piece. Yeah. Yeah. So I think that's um, the seltzer stuff. Is the seltzer stuff seltzer you guys? Stuff is all no. That's the building, the vehicles, everything. Well, else. that's that's not enough for our insurance for the year. Uh, is there another category? There is. Um, I want to say the insurance is Come on. insurance premiums. What's uh... the insurance premiums? We typically but budget around 30,000 is 27,000 for this past year uh, total that we've spent year to date. Yeah. And that's, that's, that's yeah. Yeah. So let's, let's go back. I'll mark that. Let's check the insurance and bonding and the mm -hmm. treasurer insurance one. And let's check yeah. receipts on that and see what, what's sitting where, okay. um, secretary bank charges, um, typically budget a hundred bucks for, we've used 140. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, um, 50. Oh, that's because we had a number of canceled uh, checks that were lost in the mail at the beginning of the year. And so I need someone to take a look at their checks and cash them. I, 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 yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, there's three of them. I know exactly where they yeah, are. Okay. Um, uh, they may be six months out, so you're on the cusp of them expiring. Okay. Uh, yes, yeah, so oh. those fees are high because there was at least three or four checks at the beginning of the year that no one could locate. So I had to... Um, put a stop payment on them and it was like thirty dollars fees. Okay. Yeah, so that could remain value. Okay, I'll keep that at hundred then. Yeah. Okay. Uh, other not assigning anything to other engineering services. Okay. Keep in mind we've gotten reimbursed half of that. 
Okay. So that's a plus on our side, but it's not necessarily income. Yeah. So Now, as yeah, it's far actually, as services, do we want to have a breakout on that for Hydroterra? Yes. So I had made myself a note here. Do we want to create an engineering wastewater? Yep. Or do we want to put Hydroterra stuff? And I know there's an Act 537 code of accounts. Um, I, I would keep it under wastewater okay. because... Um, with chart of accounts, it's probably going to be in there. Okay. Now, I, I think, I I think marked that it as, either of the professional service. Okay. I marked this one, and we can always change it. I put it as like 408.10 okay. for engineering services, wastewater. Okay. So I'll do that. I'll take them out of professional services then. Okay. So then what... I'll, I'll give you the chart of accounts then. Okay, and then the, the estimated... Yeah, if you think for... you come down here tomorrow, then give me yeah. a call for them off after okay. the work later. Okay. Yeah. Um, what's the budget look like oh for that? Because I know we've um, gotten quite a bit. 30000 this year so far? Yeah. The, 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 that's what that was for grants. Right. Yeah. Like, isn't that separate? I don't know. The, I mean, it's still part of the wastewater yeah. stuff. I put I I would put forty thousand for okay. next year. Makes me cringe forty. Yeah. You know, makes me cringe, but that's what it is. Choice. Yeah, mm -hmm. and some of the grants we may be able to recover fees, so that's a nice plus to that. Okay, building supplies. Uh, we budgeted a thousand. We've right. only used so again that goes with those categories under the secretary stuff mm -hmm. um, because we get reimbursed about half of what we're charging for so mm -hmm. everyone does a project so and yeah uh and we're not going to have as much we're not going to have as much projects so, so. yeah so um all right so yeah those categories we'll take a look and take a look at all the yeah. seats the other thing while i'm thinking of it i don't know that we have uh, what what do the engineering services come in as as incomes for us? Uh, twelve hundred, uh, twelve thousand, one two zero zero zero, and it does not come across on the report because it accounts receivable. So oh no no, but I meant uh, from our budget. If we're if we're spending if we're logically spending forty five thousand dollars on engineering services, we need to make sure that we're taking in forty five thousand dollars in revenue. If it's a pass through, it's the same thing with the fire. Know. Okay. Because I don't know how to do that. And I guess I could ask Aikens as to how can we reflect that on our budget? Because oh, we, we'd, we'd have, have a code of accounts code for, of account for taking that sort of thing in. But we do, but it doesn't come up on here. So it's 12,000 okay. is the number one, two, three. Oh, two, okay. Right. Oh, oh, okay. So it's in the system. It just doesn't come across as part of the budget because I think because it's variable, but I don't know. If you, I I don't know from like an accounting perspective any accountants in here, um. So so I um, I have no idea how to do that. Okay, so what I'm gonna do there is a code of accounts for it. Okay, so what I'm gonna so, do is I'm just gonna add a line item in at the bottom yeah. of this. And you said it's twelve hundred. Twelve thousand. Twelve thousand. Yeah. A lot of zeros. Yeah. Um. The recovered um funds, the recovered uh, uh expenses. Okay, so that that helps because okay. we're not actually spending that money out of okay. pocket. It's it's a one to one. Oh um, well, I wouldn't budget that high. Well, no, this yeah. this is the matching amount. Matching amount. Okay. Engineer engineer services matching amount. But we don't recover we for about half, or a little less than half. Okay. My follow up question is why are we not recovering the rest of them? Because some of them are built. Oh, for, um, yeah, yeah. Some of them are actually yeah. Some of them are legitimately us. Yeah. Okay. So so let's. I put that at twenty thousand for next year. Yeah. Okay. Building wages, we don't have any. Building supplies yes. was a thousand. So highlight that category so that you could take a, a look at that again. Because we had the same problem last year where we were like, well, this could go here, this could mm -hmm. go here, kind of evens it out. Yeah. Um, small tools and minor equipment. Uh, we spent more. We bought. More small tools this year than we normally do. Again, you want to um, look at that category. Yeah, that's what I could pull any of the the um, 
your seats and stuff for you. So yeah, this is things like shovels, yeah. pickaxes, whatever. Yeah. I, I'm okay with leaving it at two hundred. Um, yeah. the other service. Well, we're, yeah. we're 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 in, we're increasing. I don't, I don't yeah. Well, no, I'm just saying that's yeah. what it's normally used for. But like the kangaroo tamper, when we got that fixed, that that uh, came out yeah. of that. Um, I can tell you the public utilities gap. Yeah, that's going, that's up. going up. It's going yep. up plus now that I've moved into the other room. Yep. Is that at four thousand? I'd I'd actually if you're going to be in that the other room yeah. regularly, I'd actually go closer to five. Yeah, I was thinking about just getting a small space heater. And that's oh, that's gonna that's gonna ratchet up the yeah. um the electrical like then. It. Um. Yeah. <laughs> Public utility services, electric. Yeah. Um, this needs to go up. Yeah. Um, because it's electric is going okay, up. So, like, so this is a number we could drop. Yeah. Okay. The uh, building repairs and maintenance. I'm gonna say we. Yeah, we do that just in case we have to do some repairs yeah. like with the the insurance thing. But let's yeah, change our focus. What? No so it's hard on the building. Yeah, I don't know if the insurance will be repaired. No. Uh, again, Jen, government buildings, other, um, we don't normally budget for that. I want to look at this and yeah. see what we have expenses out of that category and see if they need to be moved. Um, police and operating supplies. The tickets, the police tickets. Yep. Um, so, do we want to put the 2,500 the 2, in there? Yeah. So let's police, other services and charges. They're going um, up. They're going up 5%. So that's the so fifty four two four six. Yeah. yeah. Sorry, I apologize. I'm like thinking out loud and talking out loud. I guess it happens if it's fifty, right? No, no I didn't it's... do that when I was like fifty. <laughs> that's those yeah, books... I get good answers for myself too. You start answering uh, I do. That's, I do. Yeah. I did. I mumble through the house, and everyone's like, "What are you talking about?" I don't forget it. I answered myself already. So. Fire relief. Oh, thank you. God bless you for doing this. Please, so if you see anything, just let me know. We we had the same issue last year with where does this go with with some of the some yeah. There's the there's some stuff that yeah. fits into multiple yeah. buckets, but I'll I'll have it's you. and agents didn't have a problem with what we were doing. They they tweaked a little bit of stuff. So no, there's there's yeah. stuff that fits into multiple budget lines, whether yeah. it's here or yeah. that, like business oriented stuff. It's yeah. You find the one that has the funds available. Yeah, and I'll be honest, sometimes I get leads and I don't look at the chart of accounts and I'm like, oh, leave me alone. So it's just like a volume of stuff. And now with the escrow cast, I have to create three more charts, um, charts three more whole screens with all that stuff. Granted, it's going to be minimal activity. So if every holding ticket we get, we have to follow the same procedure. Well, the chart told me that like, technically it was supposed to be taking escrow cast and then plan Right. So, okay. right. so currently what we do when someone comes with an engineering project, I'll explain to everyone, they come in, they give us a check. What our engineer suggested is they cut us a check for like a thousand dollars to cover any expenses. And then I think anything after that, we, we build them back this way. Some of the stuff is, uh, uh is, um, so instead of covered filling them constantly, like when the engineer reviews something and he will yeah. fill. Instead of filling, yeah, that, well, you just fill against the escrow. Right. So, so yeah. the problem, the, the question I guess is I have to ask Andy if he even has the answer is do we have to create an escrow account, go to the bank, form a create escrow account, and the interest on that account goes back to them or covers it? It's, it's such a nightmare. Yeah, just keep track of it. Well, we can't keep track of it in, in, in QuickBooks like what we're doing now. What's the best way to handle that? Do we keep doing what we're doing? Because now we're quite successful in recovering funds. Because everyone's, uh, you need to pay us money. Letter goes to Andy, and and everyone's paid us since that happened. So, Peter, where do you have in there? I can't see that. I, you, I, were, you under um under uh at the top part of it, a uh, secretary other, and that was a payment. Well, that's, to Dan. See, that's what I thought. That's what yeah, I thought. Yeah, it was. It was. was. Secretary other is, is Dan. I apologize. I was in the. Get Salary part-time clerical secretary. We don't we don't have anything yeah. in there though. Um then I don't know. I have to find that because there should be something in there. Yeah. Right, we might have been under treasurer. Nope. No. We'll find it. Yeah. Um it's in there. Yeah. I I, I kind of thought that we had that in 
Yeah. 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 Double check for me real quick, Aaron. No, because I know. And this this is a duplicate. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so this one is. I want to ask Irene about that because I think it's it's the same thing. It's just worded well, different. We used to give the cards to usual or five. Okay. So what was it? Should be on the four or five point one four. That's salary part time secretary. Yep, that's what Dan should have done. Okay. Yeah, we're gonna have to visit that. Do you know what rough ballpark? What Dan? What we paid Dan this year? No. Let me. I'll get him here. Okay. No. You wouldn't have to know what we paid. You can put two there. Two there? Okay. It was 10. Okay. So we're going to have to put in the um, part-time secretary that we're hiring, too, in that. Um, that's what, 17 an hour was the ad? 17 hours. Yeah. 17. I mean, hopefully my hours will lessen a little bit. Yeah. And in terms of picking up. Yeah. That didn't help. <laughs> well, we're we're hiring an extra another person. But I, I did. I have I have stuff. Thank you. The other the secretary um the the secretary other services, that's the UCC fees. I got I had you. no idea where to stick that. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. We should just make a code of account that's for that sort of thing. Like right right on the right on the list of things to do. Yeah. Let's let's Oh. UCC code enforcement. That's okay. I've never used that then. Okay. And I didn't even know it was there. Do you remember how much that one was? I'm sorry. Uh, I'm sorry, uh, Irene. Uh, uh, um, this, is, this is the problem with the physicality of the building. Yeah. yeah. I can say how much I've seen. I go here, there, here, there. That's Project for next year is that reorganization of the records mm. on the second floor. Yeah, and while you're doing that, I would very much like to get you a scanner so that yeah. you can take it out of the box, scan it, refile it. That way, we have a digital copy because some of those records we don't have to keep into perpetuity. We can keep a digital copy and then just yeah, destroy yeah. the paper one. Yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah. because yeah. yeah. like I said, once we have a digital copy of it, if we don't have a requirement to keep the physical, then 90. Okay. Now we need to be a credit card and we just categorize it. We need to go through everything together then, too. Okay. Yeah. I'll... I'll make some time to. No, it's okay. It's okay. So, seeing as that's directly proportional to how many building permits we get, we're probably looking at less building permits next year. I'm going to say that's going to probably be like 50 bucks. Because, like, Stonecroft's all yeah, but done. Yeah, and done. Yeah. I, well, some of the building permits do constitute things like, um, like, if somebody was going to, like, Add, add on something like a room or like deck stuff. So like, yeah, that's that's what I mean. This is tiny stuff. No, no, but I think it's it's a fixed fee. Like Sue said, it's like four dollars and fifty cents per permit. It doesn't matter if it's a little thing or it's a whole house. It's yeah, it's what it is. The upstate too. Yeah. The program until I learned how to integrate. When you pull up certain things, it automatically puts a number in there. Yeah. You. So I've been correcting that with some of the stuff. Okay. So and I've been um, retiring some old information that's not going to be used anymore. So I apologize. Some of this that's was fine. just that's my fine. 
make it worth the powerful decisions. Okay, so um, I'll move on to the next one while we're waiting for Irene. Public safety fire contribution. That was what we used, we used to donate to the fire company. I'm going to zero. This is for planning and zoning. We had previously budgeted 120. We have not exceeded or we will not exceed 75,000 this year. Um, so I knocked it down the 40,000. Um, the Anyway, the donation of the fire company, we already pay their insurance and everything like that. And they get the uh, foreign fire tax, this one. So I'm okay with leaving that as a zero if you're okay with leaving that as a zero. Um, public safety, ambulance service charges, um, they were really high this year compared to what we had budgeted. It was 12,000 something, almost 13. Um, I don't know why that, that's like, that's the, um, like, I think that's the 911 dispatch. And I knew that was going up, but that, I didn't think it was going up quite that much. Um, we have to pay to be able to have the 911 dis dispatch in our area. Like 911 dispatch isn't free. Um, yeah, and so it, it comes. It comes from everything comes from somewhere. Yeah, yeah. Every everything comes from somewhere. Um, being as I think that's going to be the reality of this going forward, I think we're going to have to prudently budget for at least fourteen on that. Um, if not, just make it fifteen and be be safe. Um, the public safety ambulance service charges, like the 911 dispatch, went through the roof this past year. Yeah. Um, EMS radios, we've already purchased a radio for John, so I don't think we need to put anything in there for that category until we need another one. Uh, code enforcement for sewage. This is one that I was not quite sure oh. of. Yeah. So, I was very, yeah. Uh, line 126. So, here. Okay. So that's a category I have not been using. Uh, there should be a breakdown uh, between, because um, I'm able to break it out between the SMP stuff, the, the pump yeah. out, and his general okay. things. So, do we want to? 429. Just, okay. 429 sewage Wait, inspection. So, what was that? That's 413 14. 413. We don't use that. Okay. Well, yeah, that's code enforcement. Yeah. Okay, so I'll we'll just ignore that. Does he, does he categorize he, he, well, I've been lumping all this stuff aside from the pump out. So I've been lumping everything together because he does like, he does the inspections, he does stuff. I didn't necessarily. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, um, where was I? Uh, UCC code enforcement, we already touched on that one. I put 50 and planning and zoning. Uh, we talked about that while you were up. Yeah. Um, we've not exceeded 70 or will not exceed 75,000 yeah. on that. So yeah. we'll take that down from 120 down to 80. Um, personal services zoning. Uh, we didn't have anything budgeted for that. And we spent about $1,500 on that. Um, I don't know if we need to put anything in there because that's one that we don't get a lot of use for normally. That might be another good one to look at the, the accounts with you and make yeah, sure that we have that maybe yeah. not aggregated in the wrong spot. Um, no, because the only thing we do is the pass through and then I don't think we've made a contribution. Is there, you, you don't have anything else for fire departments, correct? No, the, we had the fire contribution that we zeroed out because we haven't donated them for the yeah, past couple of years. Them. So yeah. Okay, so let's, I'll mark this one. Let's come back to that. I don't think that we need it, but we'll see. Um, next one is the EMC. I kept the budget line of 5,000 yeah. for that. Uh, public safety emergency management, $7,500. Okay. So, so um, I know his question was, is does he need to have every single approval come through? Can he say... I have a seventy-five hundred dollar budget. I'm going to go spend seventy-five hundred dollars, or just you know, it's, it's still, it's still, it's still need to be approved. Yeah. Money. So, so, yeah. so for next meeting, I'm going to say, give me your. We're, we're going to for Thursday. Then I'm going to say, give me these numbers. We'll go through. He's got so technically he has so, seventy-five hundred. Yes. So, so I was actually going to ask. These two budget items are very, very related: the emergency management other and the public safety emergency so, management. So the other is the radio first. Yeah. Well, so, no, the radio purchase was on a different line. What, where was that? That's um, fire radios. 
So that should he's not fired. No, you have EMS training. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, I'm sorry. He, yeah, yeah. He's yeah. not he's not EMS. Yeah. He's emergency management coordinator. So that oh, oh okay, okay, so, okay, so okay. That okay. Phone was, was the radio, radio. so we'll drop that because we so, don't need radios right. this year. So he just has that seventy five hundred dollars over. That was hopefully a one time thing. Although yeah. he lost the battery. That was a hundred and thirty that slipped in there. It was a hundred and thirty six dollars and something cents. And we he has to purchase it like ASAP. Is that can we have that as, as a gentle emergency management? It's under so can we yeah. let me go get that bill? Can we yeah. that? Well is it on the agenda text? Well, I got EMC equipment. Okay, that's fine. Very broad, but yeah, it'll cover it. Yeah. I mean, if not, we just have to amend the agenda. Just it's it's easier this yeah. way. Um, I think for our, our two prospective part-time secretaries, this is a good good Sorry. learning opportunity. Sorry. Yeah. This is yeah. dragging out. Yeah. yeah. This is a once a year yeah. thing, <laughs> thankfully. Um, other than that, uh, recycling collection disposal, I didn't have the number for that. If we actually had to spend anything on that, that's usually typically offset by grants. For what? For recycling. Um, we, know. we had no use for it this year. Like no. we haven't paid a single bill out of that category. No, they gave us free cans, so yeah. you don't have to pay for them. I'm going to zero that then. Uh, sewer inspection is the, the one that is going to be, or excuse me, the sewerage enforcement officer is going to be the one that we're going to have to um, match up with a um, income because that's going to be a pass through. Because um, like if we send the SEO out for something other than like if somebody has a nuisance complaint, um, we are we now SEO? Um, yeah, it was so disgusting. SEO, are you, you're not at four twenty nine yet? Uh, no, 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 no. So we're at actually no, we are actually. I, I take that back. Where we are at four twenty nine. Four twenty nine. Yeah. So, um, and it's, is it's it's reflected back onto the pump out levy. Amount on your the tax collection. Okay. Do so we go back up to three ten and change? I actually don't think I have the pump out levy on here. You should. So it's under tax. Uh, pump out levy three ten point two five. See, this is all going through my head all the time when I'm in here. It's a lot of data. It's a lot of information. So oh, as this category a little bit as far as equipment though, so that that's not bad. But everything is balanced to the penny. The three point three ten point two five is the uh pump out levy. So I slipped that out intentionally. Yeah. And that was the fifteen thousand, right? No, no? three ten point two five. Three ten no, it's twenty four three fifty. Yep, twenty four three fifty and thirty eight cents. I don't know why it's thirty eight cents, but I have to double check that. I might have missed put an extra thing in there. So it's kind of everything that Alan's doing for us is pretty much should be a wash. Okay. By the end of the year, this is totally going back and forth. <laughs> not that not that I want not that I want QuickBooks online. That works. There's that season. Get some get some credit for it. <laughs> And then Irene, how are you using the difference between the SEO and the sewer inspection budget lines? The, uh, the... inspection purposes. Yeah. He details that on his bill. Okay. And, yeah, yeah. and versus the pump out versus all the other things that he does. Okay. So for the pump out, if we have the pump out at, let's say the pump out levy is 30,000. And the would I be putting that thirty thousand in the sewage enforcement officer or the sewage inspection? Well, that's what we need to figure out. Because I would we, I would think inspection. Right. Everyone was up in arms about what the that levy inspection. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Inspection. So so that's why we wanted to see how this works. Yeah. So we could decrease it, increase it, etc. But we didn't have that many inspections this year. Right. Uh. Yes. So this. Pump out levy is going to be 
um, conceivably should be a pretty close one to one match. Um, yeah. Although, actually, well, now I'm thinking of this. Uh, if he's inspecting once every four years, right. it should be actually a quarter. We should be taking in four times the amount of what he's spending on, on average. So that actually wouldn't be 30,000. That would be 30,000 divided by four. Um, I'm missing some of the math here. So we, we take in your, your pump out yeah. intervals every four years. Right, right. Yeah. So we're taking in that that income right. once every four years um and he's spending a quarter of it every year because you're paying your fee annually so actually you know it would would it match up would it be one to one now that i now that i say that out loud i think it would be it would be yeah 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 yeah, 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 yeah. You, don't to, you don't want to put that in every year because you're only collecting it yeah. So it's only well, like each section is but the every but four years. yes, but the tax bill is like you have to do it every every four years, but on the tax bill you're paying one quarter of the, the total yeah. amount every year. So it should be we're taking in that amount and then he's going yeah. out and conceivably inspecting. So his inspection is two hundred dollars. Yeah. It should be a Yeah, it should be should be one to one. You're paying a quarter of it. Yeah. Every right in four years. Right. Yeah. 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 But conceivably, he's doing a quarter of the town, roughly about a quarter of the township every year. So, yeah, that's a lot of a lot of fractions all at once. Um, Think about that and like get back to that on Thursday. Because does that mean we drop the pump out levy? No, why, why would we drop the pump? So we keep it the same then. Okay. Yeah, no, it's safe. Okay. It's safe. We're good. I have We're to good. figure out why there's the 38 cents on there. So I have to check that. Okay. And then so, the actual sewage yeah. enforcement officer wages, like, that's different. Yeah, that's different. Yeah. Do we want to put that because like we've spent about eleven. Right. This that's, year. that's different because it's it he charges for mileage for reporting for all preparing all the reports, stuff like that. So where is that? That's uh, the line that I'm on. Yeah, four twenty nine. Yep. Am I? Yeah, yeah, you're up at the three hundreds. Oh. That's okay. That's weird. No, no, no. Hold on. Let me you, uh scrolling before. Yeah. I think it maybe froze. Um, I don't think the recording froze, but I think the uh, the screen share froze. Let me. No, nah, shouldn't. <laughs> There's some time out. <laughs> uh, the time out, Peter. <laughs> yeah. Okay. You can shut your hour. Yeah. Yeah. Ah, so we're 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 through. I think the bulk of. Yeah, it. we're we're through so... most of it. Let me at least stop sharing and reshare it. Okay. So I need to review code of accounts. We need to mm -hmm. recategorize. Yep, you're frozen. We we need to re. Yeah, cursor's moving. Cursor's moving, but the screen's not moving. Are you are you on it on your screen? Yeah, I'm on one of mine. I go with it. You're talking about a pen and to a pen and paper person. So. Yeah. So okay. you guys yeah. want to make a motion for that. John to purchase? Yeah, just can we make, can we go back to yeah. the MCB? Yeah. yeah. So I'm gonna I'm gonna abs abstain yeah. from voting on yeah. this because of the conflict of interest. See what's the reimbursement he needs to uh, purchase a new uh, uh, battery for radio. radio battery. So how much? One hundred thirty six dollars and sixty three cents through Ma Radio Maintenance Corporation. That's one thirty six dollars. Sixty three. Sixty three. And then radio equipment maintenance. Yes, we also have to submit. They have a, like a credit application. Um, it's it's more akin to having them identify us as our tax exempt status. So that paperwork is all filled out as well. Okay. Uh, I'll make a motion to authorize the EMC to purchase a replacement battery from Radio Equipment and Maintenance for a total of $136.63. There's a second. Roll call. Aye. Um, Peter. Yep. Irene. Epstein. Jim. Aye. Uh, okay. Motion carried. Okay. Let me see what I can do here. That's weird. Ladies, may I ask who you are? I'm going to shop. Okay. And Nice for coming. Thank you very much for coming. Thank you. Yeah. Let me give you a copy of. 
Thank you for coming to a boring meeting. Yes, <laughs> yeah, um, so well, I could say it's five people were invited and yeah. only two ladies were kind enough to uh, show up. I do have to leave shortly because I have to go to my other job. I'll leave you guys with a resume and everyone that's remaining can uh, ask Yeah, I'll, I'll, be in, I'll be in touch. I'll give that one to Sue. Yeah. yeah. And uh, so this way um, we can make a decision. I did get a response back from uh, uh, Emrix. Oh, I didn't get my time. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I did, I did, so you could describe those. I did get a response back from Emrix Cleaning Services and they are insured and bonded. Okay. Hi, um, Irene. Hi. <laughs> do we want to vote on that today? So, do you want to vote on it? To I, I would like to. Sure. So, no way. Emmerich is insured and bonded. Correct. And that's Lori and Mike. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. I think the uh, Zoom meeting froze. Hmm. Not me. If I'm near a computer, something bad happened. Yeah, we may have to rely on paper. Your recording. Oh, crap. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. Um, no, that's okay because I just looked Talk loud. on my computer, <laughs> and it is not showing the other room in the session. So let's let's quick power through the rest of this. Um, so so do you want to go back really quick? Yeah, 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 yeah. Please, please, please. I'll make a motion to hire Emrex Cleaning Service. I'll second. Roll call, Peter. Aye. Irene. Aye.